Okay, I just kept this out just to be able to show you. So I just did this today. This is all like the outer layers of onions that I have chopped. Um, do you want to see the onions? I am guessing based on like the weight that the bag claims that it is and how little is left of the bag. I think I have chopped about three kilos of onions. No! Okay, well you can close your eyes then. Dickhead. Dick! Head! Uh, guys, thanks for being here like at the street at the start of strange. Um, that's a really cool thing. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty cool thing. Um I do too, mad by the seaside. So this bag uh was on sale. And I love it when these are on sale, because then I get it and I caramelize like three quarters of it. So I bought it and then I chopped a bunch. And uh here, here they are. Here, here. <laughs> okay. So this is full um, of finely chopped onions. So um, I'm gonna put this on low. There's a uh, butter in there, like fake butter, layered. <laughs> and we're gonna put it on low for many hours, like very low. Um, and we'll see, I did take a picture of it and we'll see how caramelized it is by the time we're done stream. So yeah, it is a good amount, I agree. So that's gonna just chill over here. Um, and I've got it, I've got the dial between the two and the three and I'll, I'll adjust. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a huge raw onion person. Um, I'll, I'll do that on uh, like burgers and stuff. Um, Phil, thank you. Thank you for the hundred bits. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of like just saying the word bits. Uh, also, Jelly, I saw you. Do your thing. If you need to vibe, you need to vibe. Um, it is yeah, Jelly's fault that I'm learning how to use this today. And by learning, I, I, I don't think, I don't know. Um, more, Warner, thanks. Warner, thank you for gifting a sub to 24th. 24th, good buddy. Please make sure you refresh so you don't get ads. Um, and enjoy your emotes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, so I thought that I did not own an immersion blender. I own an immersion blender. Life is good. I've never used it. That I remember, anyways. I think I picked it up once, and I think I turned it on and then um, put it down. Because I was scared. I'll use a Sawzall. No prob. Power tools? I'm your man this thing much less so uh so i have a plan for that gifted subscription xo xo thank you for gifting a sub and it went to hungry that's kind of apropos wouldn't you say um xo thanks man jovial hello good day hello good day um i'm gonna put a hat on and we're going to call it the high pack. Are we cool with that? I think that's a uh, reasonable. Um, yeah, friend is there. I put the cat dishes there um, because if anybody was in Discord and saw no name tuna um, or off brand tuna, we're going to we're going to cut into off brand tuna today. Gifted subscription. Warner. Guy, thank you for the support. Thank you. Um, thank you very, very much. Yeah. So uh, today, the cats have had... Um, Red Mage got them, like, fancy food off my throne. And they've had that for their breakfast. And they'll also have it for their dinner. And so I figured, why not keep, like, the cat deliciousness going? So we're going to give them off-brand tuna. Um, around the time that I would normally give them like their afternoon snack or whatever. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, generally I do, I do have a plan. The plan is written out down there. Um, <laughs> stage one of the plan is done. Um, did they love it? Yeah, they do. That's, that's what friend was just snacking on. Um, they do. Hi, Red Mage. Congrats, Red Mage. We can... Like, officially, 
congrats, right? Otherwise, you can just say, I don't, no, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Phil, wait, Phil. Phil. Hi, Brew. Um, that says also six months in advance. She says he. Oh my god. Phil, thank you. You absolute goober. Thank you, dude. Um, you're silly though. Like, oh hi, you got hair in your eyeball, baby. Hi, are you okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna give us some scratches. Just using a loophole, he says. You're a good dog. We'll give you, we'll give you some off-brand um, tuna as well. You just gotta wait, okay? You just gotta wait. Um, thank you, guys. Please. My dog, everybody. Okay. Yeah, that's so good. I'm very excited for you, Red Mage. Very, very excited for you. Um, gang, Red Mage uh, potentially has a place to live. I think that's a positive thing, right? An off-brand tuna emote. We do. We do. Can anybody go? Exclamation mark. Reminder ad. All one word. Off-brand tuna emote. Because, like, that should be pretty easy to make. I feel, I feel like I can just take one of the photos that I took and I can just make it, like, zoom in and out and stuff. Thank you, Warner. Thank you. Um, we'll make it happen. Right. Plan. Plan. So, um, uh, I have onions starting to caramelize. I have rice that if I was doing things like super perfectly, I would have cooked last night. Uh, but I cooked it this morning and it's in the fridge and it'll be part of Gunt's stir fry later. And then the next thing on the list is Exo's soup. So, um, Exo PM'd me the recipe and I have, uh, put it onto this in words that hopefully make sense to me. Um, XO, I want you to understand how shit of a cook I am. Um, I learned right now what like mirepoix vegetables are means. Um, so it's like, it's the vegetables to me. They're like the base of a veggie broth. Um, so onions, carrots, celery, and we're going to chop up 170 grams of them and put them in a bowl and cook them. Um, then we can drop the tuna, drop the tuna. <laughs> um, yeah, Exo, of course, right? It makes, it makes total sense. It makes total sense. Um, yeah, Red Mage, that's so good that you got it. Oh my God. That could have been like a big, giant more many months of stress so crossing my lips that everything goes through um so what i'm gonna do is uh i have a kitchen scale that i need to remember to use for we also need to feed my sourdough starter let me just take that out of the fridge so that we don't forget it uh yeah because uh I feel like Wednesdays are just going to be feed the starter days, right? Uh, so I am going to tear the, so wait, if I like do this, I'm just, I'm also, so this camera placement, so <laughs> everything's all fucked up. Um, I oh, am using a microphone that I won't be using the feature for this and I've got the camera in a way actually you guys can see it here um it's like resting on a paper towel roll and clipped onto here for extra support like this this right here is a cupboard um but I have plans uh Red Mage if you remember the oh I don't need to do this yet oh I do um if you remember the little octopus thing like stand Ugh, camera holder anyways i grabbed one of them because i had to grab the mic connection thing from 
Amazon anyways. So I was like, I'm going to grab a better way to hold my camera. So I grabbed one of them because then I can like, I think it's just going to work out a lot better. Um, yeah, Gorilla Pod. Well, that's fancy. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, this is a hundred grams. Oh, wow. That few? Okay, I might end up doing more than called for, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, guys, thanks for the hype train. That's incredible. That's really incredible support. Guys, thank you so much. Um, damn, dudes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very, very kind. Oh, yeah, I need to start another uh, broth bag right here. Hooray! We stand broth bags in this house. So I've got my compost bin here, which is already almost full of, like, onion discard. Um, and then I'm going to put a, another compost bag there. So that's 100. I feel like that's going to turn off, but um, I think it sounds great, Shell. <laughs> Um, you love the one you have, never had an issue with it. Sweet! Very cool. Yeah, I think I only will end up putting this, like, crappy little C920 on it. Um, and the one that I grabbed looks at least very similar to the one that you had, or how I remember the one that you had anyways. So, and it's, um, 10 inches tall or so. A new follower! And, uh... Not only, Surfies, welcome. Not only do I think it will work nicely out here in the kitchen, I also think it'll work nicely um, for art streams, like at my desk. Uh, I think it'll be just because, like, these, these dubers that my cameras are on right now, they're very, like, limp when trying to hold something at a high ish height. Uh, so, um, yeah. Meow. Brew does like carrots. Yes, we should. Sorry to like point at you with my knife. Um, we'll give him a little bit of carrot. Don't diss the C920. Those things seem to last forever. Yeah, I mean, hell yeah. They're here. We'll do. I know you guys can't see. I put the bowl in a poor place. I'll uh, I'll scooch it better. Let me just make these like small enough so they're not gonna kill my dog. Um. I can smell the onions already. And, uh, yeah. Hi. Do you want some, do you want some carrots? Oh, he's a good boy. Uh, Shal, how the heck are you? Um, we're safe behind the fourth wall. So what do you do with that many onions? 24th. We're caramelizing them. So I've got uh, butter in the bowl or in the pot and the burner is on low like pretty well as low as I can kind of justify and it's going to go for hours um, and what that does what the low and slow does is it this is the one thing that I can kind of sound like I know what I'm talking about it, it encourages a malleard reaction where the sugars like eat out of the onions and they get um sweet and delicious and uh they freeze really well um that's my story oh now that's already 200 grams um but i'm also gonna put celery in it so sorry because i feel like that's so few i might end up just accidentally making more soup than originally intended but i am okay with that so had a mad sort of day your house doesn't have oh it's best just yay Ooh, that's cool shall you know so we bought this house <sighs> shit it's like coming up on i want to say it's coming up on seven years now but it's either six or seven years ago um and we still have never been in the attic and i really would like to um so one day one day uh Right. I guess I could actually just run water on these, eh? Meh. Um. Yeah. Right, Axel? I feel like... I feel like that's... 
feel like that's a pretty solid thought. Um, I'll show you guys the wieners that I bought for this soup. So this soup, <laughs> I'm going to pronounce it wrong. It's a pasta e fagioli soup. Um, and I've never made a soup like this. I've never made a soup that has a uh, pasta in it. I don't know why. It's just nerve wracking. Oh, you like celery. Oh, no, you don't. I don't think you like celery. Do you? Here, don't choke and die. Oh, okay, he ate it. Alright, he ate it. Okay, that's enough. Uh. Oh, shall boo. Boo. When, why did I start cooking streams? A long time ago. Shit, did I start them over on Beam? I honestly might have even started them before I came to Twitch. Um, and the why... I feel like it's a really lame answer, but I think it's just because I love it so much. Um, I really, really love cooking. And uh, if I am going to do it for hours at a time anyways... I think sharing it with other people who might really enjoy cooking makes sense. Look at how cute. And then you get to see my dog. Um, pasta e fagioli. Pasta e fagioli. Okay. I assumed it was going to be a soft G. And then I said it was a hard G. Kind of like a dickhead. So, <laughs> shall. Oh, the other thing I did uh, in um, to better this stream than last stream was I do have lights set up. Because last time, like, it basically got dark as the day went on. Um, and the lighting up here is less than optimal. Optimal? Optimal? Anyways, so I have two, like, actual lights set up. So we'll see how it goes as the day goes. Um, yeah, XO. Okay, right. So we have those veggies. And then I just need to know what comes after the veggies the sausage and the meat do you guys want to see the meat um look at it. it's very fancy uh it is spicy mexican chipotle it's the same as italian right um and i'm probably yelling really loud sorry um crafted with sweet onions garlic and chili de orbal peppers huh I'm going to do that now, XO. Yeah. Going to do it now before I put the stuff on. Um, and I Googled it. Uh, I Googled, like, you using two, I think you said, pretty hefty tablespoons of garlic. Not paste. Mince, I guess. Oh, like, probably from a jar, right? Um, and the Google says that that is at least six cloves. Um, for one, I approve of the hefty use of garlic. And for two, we're going to go for like half a head. Half a good head. I bought good garlic as well. Usually we kind of just buy the shit stuff. Um, I bought the good stuff. So. Um, making a glazed jerk chicken thighs with sweet potato wedges. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. Alright. So I'm just going to do the garlic before we put everything else like on heat and then uh i don't know fuck i might just do a whole head no we'll do that much yeah we'll do that much okay okay um just like this somewhat. yeah yeah that's the thing about these meal prep streams is they're gonna make folks hungry potentially Potentially. Um, yeah, so. So, so, so. Ah, I have had a little bit of a brainwave about some of the polymer stuff. Uh, just now, I realized that it would be kind of cool if I made a phone holder duber. I do have one for my bedside table um, that I use because I listen to 
videos as I fall asleep, but I would love to have one for my desk and then I would love to have another one here. So I might just craft some of those out of polymer, uh, but I don't think those will be like creative. Like I might make them pretty and stuff, but I don't think they're going to be made into like characters of this book that I want to write. Um, but I did have a cool idea about a character from this book that I want to write and others. Um, my, I was having brekkie with my little brother this weekend and I told him, we were talking a bit about the polymer stuff. Um, and I told him that I wanted to do kind of aquatic-y type creatures or whatever. And he said, uh, bro, you should do a turtle. And I was like, yes, yes, I should. And then big, big brain thought I can make the shell of the turtle into probably hexagons rather than octagons, probably hexagons. And if I do it right, and if I indent the the hexagons nicely, um, I can make other, even smaller critters that like make stands for them that are hexagons and curved correctly. And they like slot into the turtle's back. Cause that's something that you see in literature and like fantasy world building and stuff all the time is the turtle um, like carrying the world or whatever on its back, right? So I could do that in a much smaller sense. And I kind of love the idea. But it would be cool to try to kind of learn measurements and stuff um, with the polymer. Apparently polymer doesn't shrink in the same way that like clay when you're doing like pottery does. So I wouldn't have to account for any shrinkage or anything, but um, still I feel like, I feel like it's probably not going to be extraordinarily simple. I'll have to account for courage, I guess, but hopefully like the way that I see it, I think is I would make the turtle first and bake it and have it be hard. And, and complete or whatever. And then when I go to make the other little guys, um, I can just like shape them directly from the already created turtle, tortoise turtle, I don't know. Um, don't know if you ever had soup with out pasta more than once. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, I've had it before. But I feel like it's only ever been at restaurants or maybe like at my mom's or something. Um, ah. Okay. But yeah, I definitely haven't cooked it. But I know it's a thing people do and I feel like it makes a lot of sense because it helps with the whole uh, like one pot thing uh, to have fewer dishes. I'm going to be cooking everything in the same pot. Um, uh, obviously except for the onions, but yeah, we're going to do the soup in my Dutch oven here and then serve it and, uh, then do jellies, white sauce in there as well, serve it and then get guns stir fry going in there as well. Pretty much because I'm a lazy bastard and, uh, the fewer dishes, the better. Okay. So this is on, um, I have some Evu. Love that for me. Uh, well, the onions way over there are caramelizing, so they'll take hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, yeah. And there's loads of them. Stupid amounts of onions. But they're doing something. Yeah. They're already like, uh, what's the word? Not soft. They're certainly not soft yet, but you know, it's gone down a half a centimeter. Um, chicken pot pie soup. Ooh. So is there anything resembling um like the crust in chicken pot pie soup because 
the crust or the pastry, I guess, is the reason I don't enjoy pot pies at all. I just because I just don't enjoy pies at all. Um, but I'm gonna guess maybe everything else is just in there, and then the pasta takes the place of the pastry. Ow, shit ass. Um, okay. All right, here we go. So EXO's instructions say to do these for five minutes on like medium high. I'm probably gonna do them for a little bit longer than that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Homemade nudes, nice. Wilted? Wilted is definitely a word, um, obviously. But no, they're not wilted yet. They're just, you know, they're, they're, they're doing something. They're doing something in there. Okay. All right, and then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add sausage. Oh, and I will chuck in some Italian seasoning in there. Um, oh, and I need to measure the maters and the tomato paste. Um, if I was, let me get to the ah! I'm gonna get my uh, salt and pepper ready. And then I do have just like Italian seasoning. Um, so I'll chuck some of that in there to try to make it like a little bit closer to EXO's original flavor. Um, yeah. And are they chopped? Or do you like, they've got to be just like chopped up and stuff, right EXO? Carousel time book. Yeah. No actual crust. You dumb person, stop running your fingers up. <laughs> what's going on back there oh okay the nudes are probably about the same consistency of onions just described yeah okay cool 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 oh uh, yeah oh okay so do not use good knife to open plastic things uh, I will have to wash this, these scissors, though. <laughs> uh, put them over there. <laughs> Definitely slice them up right, yeah. You used ground- oh! Oh! Oh. I feel like, probably because they're veggie. Oh, they crumble pretty nice. Um, like, it's, it's kind of splitting in my fingers. But yeah, I'll just chop them up. Because if it was real, real sausage, I'd just like take it out of the casing or whatever and crumble it, right? Like I would for guns. Gross. I don't know what this is, but there's a lot of it. Always use textile scissors. Oh. <clears throat> um, ooh, idiotic. I'm going to say no. Actually, dear God, no. Um, that's a recipe for botulism, or however you pronounce it. Um, you, you do what you want, but I don't, I, I just want to make it clear, I don't, I don't agree with that statement. Um, <laughs> yeah, you'll fucking die. <laughs> uh, olive oil and garlic are like, you know, a thing that can work well together, but if you don't know what you're doing, and, um, if they're just left kind of like unattended, just vibing, you'll, you'll fucking die. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna stain my kind of board. Which, like, I don't think it's a bad thing. At all. Hi, Dave! Hello, good day. Oh, yeah, no, I know so. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a well-known, well-documented thing. Um, there's, there's correct ways to do it. Like, it is something that can be done, but it's not something I would just, like, advise the general public. Uh, because if it's done incorrectly, it's real bad. This stuff is, uh, slimy and gross. But I'm going to guess that that is going to be why it tastes so delicious. I, you know what? I didn't even look at, like, 
how healthy or unhealthy these are. I'm going to say they're probably fairly deliciously unhealthy, which I'm stoked for. I feel like that's the point of a sausage. You don't eat a sausage thinking that you're making good health choices. Okay, I need to stir my vegetables, please. And then put the garlic in. It has been five minutes, but... Oh! Hi. Um... Yeah, Fran, like, you can, you can do it correctly. Uh, and so you know, stores and companies who do it en masse do it correctly, but it's not as simple as just chucking garlic in olive oil. Um, I forget what you need to do to have it not give you botulism, but there's something. It's there. Um, yeah. Uh, what's going to be after this? Oh, beans! I made beans last night. And I made broth last night. Um, Jay, you're very kind. Very, very kind. Uh. Oh, no! Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole thing, because, like, um, I know a lot of the time when you make ground meat, uh, you can either choose to drain it or not drain it. And so often if people are kind of trying to be like healthier or whatever, they will drain it, right? Because that's where a lot of the fat kind of seeps to and a lot of the calories seep to. But that's where all the flavor is. So yeah, that's a total shame. Um, okay, so I need... Uh, this thing is 13 fluid ounces. I'm going to take five out of it and use those in a recipe four weeks from now. That's planning ahead. Ah, oh, it'll go in here. Oh, put it in the freezer. Oh, I think I didn't give myself enough time to do some things. I'm gonna turn this down and I was gonna let them fucking chill out for a second. Yeah, you guys just, just chill, just chill. I need to open some things. I'm stressing already. Um, I used uh, my Instapot XO. Um, I'm cheating. I'm cheating on a few things in your recipe. I'm so sorry. Uh, the beans are one of the things I'm cheating on. Wait. Uh, um. Because I just grabbed beans that. Are, I already had in my pantry um, and that are the closest closest as possible to the ones that you have in your recipe. So I'm using kidney beans, black eyed peas, and this other one that I forget. It's in the menu command um, and I just chucked them in the Instapot. Okay, I need this and I need um, ounces. Oh, you know what I should do on the TV is I should, uh, I should put my stream on it. I should put my stream on it. Even your recipe is cheating? Hell yeah. That's the way it should be. Okay. Where's my spoon? My spoon. Okay. I'm just going to get eight ounces out of here, please. Thank you. I'll show them to you. Um, and then the rest goes in the freezer. Oh, hey, that's literally, literally eight ounces on the dot. Um, I'm going to try to get that out of the can ASAP. But, you know, it'll survive a fucking second. And then I need uh, milliliters, I think, don't I? No, grams. Give me grams, baby. 
grams and then tear it. Oh, okay. And I need 425. I think I got the wrong tomatoes. Oh yeah, those are like, well, they're pretty fucking mush. Okay, that's 430. It's perfect. Um, okay, that can go there and that will also go in a, the freezer. Okay. This. 420 blue. Your spoon's too big. That's what all the guys say. So I'm gonna turn this back up to like medium-ish. I'm gonna put the garlic in and let it go until I can smell it. Um yeah. Yeah. And then add the sausage. Where do I add the broth? Oh, down there. Okay. I'm going to do salt and pepper with the sausage. I mean, you know, it's just literally onions, celery, and carrot, but it smells great. It smells so good. Wait, what's the masterpiece? Wait. What happened? Who are you? Um, thought I was the masterpiece. This is a lot. Hello? Can you, can you please? Okay. All right. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I think it'll fit. I think it'll fit. I love these little tiny square containers. I use them for tomato paste all the time. Because, like, who uses 13 ounces of tomato paste at once? I guess if you're doing a fucking giant batch of something, but that would have to be a giant batch. Um, but it is nice to buy the larger quantity, because usually it's then less per unit, right? Um, just freeze the rest. Um, if you're making a ketchup, something I've never done. To me, what I think of, here one sec. Ow! Eyes, I am constantly forgetting that I have hot water. It's amazing what years without hot water will do to your muscle memory. Um, when I think of ketchup, I just always think of like, it's the one thing that you always get name brand of. Because uh, off brand ketchup is shit. Can I imagine homemade ketchup? Like I'm not saying it's shit. Um, I think I would fuck it up, <laughs> but it'd be cool to try one day. All right, in goes the meat. Oh, you know what's funny? XO, I never even measured like how much meat this is and how much you call for in your recipe. I, I, I wrote down everything else. I wrote down a measurement of, and the meat, I didn't at all. Um, so, I mean, I guess like it's gonna be delicious, but it just might be more meaty. I'm gonna do Italian salt and pepper. Whack of that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Rejected commercials by Don Hartsfelt. Okay. One pound. Oh, oh, I threw the wrapper already. Oh, no, I didn't. This is... Oh, shit, this is only 368 grams. So, all right. Sweet. Oh, salt. Please. Yeah. Okay. Um. Takes a long to make. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You always get the low sodium ketchup. Oh, I feel like that wouldn't taste as good, which is a shame. But like, of course, of course you do that. Makes total sense. Um, at medium heat. 
add this. So this is the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes, the tiny petite diced tomatoes, and tomato paste. I am going to give this like a really quick stir and then uh, shove the maters in there. <laughs> Yay! What am I going to do? Get in my belly. Okay, delicious. Very good. Maters, done. I'm ready to go to camera space already. How does this happen? I'm just gonna like... Oh. Oh yeah. I mean, it smells great. Um, I'm going to take two seconds to kind of tidy up a little bit. Um, <laughs> Fran, there's still sodium in it, but not, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ooh, that's like a perfect fit. So this is going in the freezer. Um, keep it good. And what I always do with the gosh darn tomato paste that I freeze is I am constantly putting it immediately beside pumpkin, pureed pumpkin that I have in there. And then I always forget which one is which because they come, once they're, once they're both frozen, they're kind of a very similar color. But, ow! The pumpkin we're going to use in two weeks when we make homemade dog treats because it's Brew's birthday. In two weeks. Uh, I'm excited. Okay, I just want to like... know if I would want pumpkin in things that don't call for pumpkin. Um, all right, so now I put beans. Oh, I was supposed to do salt and pepper with the beans. It doesn't make a difference. Um, I am going to... Now, wasn't I supposed to put a little bit of this in there? Uh, yeah, so the beans, um, the way that Exo wrote it, was oh does it okay i'll take note um the way the exo wrote it was to have the beans with like most of the liquid drained but not all so i have a little bit of the liquid and part of this is going to be for this and part of it is going to be for the mac and cheese but yeah here's the beans um oh shit i don't remember how what how much it was i i'm just guessing Lone bear deer thing. Um, yeah, they look like crap, but they're delicious. So they're going in. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to put just like a dash of this liquid in there, uh, which is aquafaba. Sure. Delightful. And then I'll use a little splash of it for jelly stain. And then I'll freeze the rest because it also is uh, something I would use in like a curry. Okay, I'm going to do more tidying. I'm going to stir this and then do a little bit more tidying. <laughs> so many beans! Okay. So here's the fun part. I don't know if I have room for eight cups of broth in there. I'm going to try it. 850 grams of beans. Oh, sweet. Okay. That was probably not actually that much. Well, shit, maybe. Sunny, hello. Excuse me. Sorry. Hi. Good day. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna get the tomatoes in something and then put them in the freezer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's put them in. Do we think they're gonna fit in here? I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this. Um, don't, don't, dimly, don't, 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 dimly. Um, and, oh, exo, yeah, good call. Yeah, 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 that's a great, that makes total sense. And the broth was just made last night. Um, I really like making veggie broth. It's always, I think, way more flavorful. Oh, come on. It's fine. Uh, it's always, like I find it way more flavorful than uh, store bought stuff. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> There's an impasta among us. Ha ha, she said the funny thing that Zoomer's like. Hee 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 ha 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 ha. Oh man. Oh. Fuck, it smells good. It smells really good. Um, I'm just gonna put some recyclables in the recycling. Was I supposed to laugh? Nah. I'm not allowed to have fun. No fun! No fun for me! Uh, and put this in the freezer. Yeah, how have you been, Doug? Doug, dom, dimly, dom, 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 What's, uh, what's shaking your bacon? Okay, this is all good. I'm gonna stir my onions. Yeah. Ooh. They have reduced slightly more. Reduced, I think, was the word I was looking for earlier. Um, okay. Oh, the pasta is soon. Oh, I should add it, like, now, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, when did the onion packet go in? I thought that that was for this recipe. Fuck. Gar okay, wait. Celery, carrot, onion, saute with oil. Meat, petite, maters, beans, bubbling, broth, heat. Wait, Exo, are you here? When does the onion packet go in? I didn't write that shit down, apparently. Onion packet, if using it, can go in now. Okay, thanks. I had to buy them. I've never used these before. Oh, it's wet on the bottom. Why? I don't know. Oh, from the... So, this is onion soup something. This is all French. Oh, this is English. Anyway, I'm putting it in. Um, I don't think that can go in the compost. Um, you're on painkillers, Doug, why? What are you doing? <gasps> Lone bear, are you allergic to onions? Tell me no. Make sure your soup is boiling before adding the pasta, yes. So I need to get the water, the broth in there to get it up to boiling. That makes sense, because you're like making pasta, right? Um, get the broth ready too. Yeah. That's what all this is. 
So this is four. Oh, wait, this is too much broth. <laughs> this is eight cups of broth. Oh, that's good. I was so worried I had, I didn't make enough broth. Um, onion, garlic, shallots. Oh, lone bear, no. Oh, fuck, Doug Dimidome. That's brutal, dude. I'm so sorry. Um, lone bear. <laughs> this was full, and now it's, now it's reduced a little bit. This is all onions. I will, I will eat it so that you don't have to. And, uh, I'll do that for you. I'll do that for you, the death pot. Yeah. Um, Dr. Dimidol, I'm so sorry, man. That's, that's brutal. That's really, really shit. Okay, this is eight cups of broth, because one of these is four, and I have two of them. So, uh, here we go. Let's see if we can fit. How much broth we can fit, anyways. And then we'll crank it up to boiling. hi -yah. Okay. There's four. I probably can't fit eight more in. I'm just gonna go until it's, uh, like, way too full. Gunt especially loves it when I overfill my pots and then I stir and I get stuff everywhere. That's Gunt's favorite, especially when it's like a tomato-based thing and then I get tomato on the ceilings and on the wall. He loves it so much. Oh shit! I can't get eight cups in there, she says. Uh, I'm just putting this in the... Oh! Wash! I'm just grabbing everything first, really quick. Just, just fucking it all up. Have a, have a party! Okay. Hi! Okay. Um... All over the walls, yeah, yeah. Lone Bear, I get you. I totally get you. I, um, like, obviously ordering food is kind of the, quote, easiest option, except when you factor in the money part of it. But I will say, I definitely do meal prep because it's, it's easy mode compared to cooking every night. Um, like, I think sometimes people will see, oh, she's prepping meals, she's got her shit together. <laughs> No, I'm prepping my meals because I don't have my shit together and I couldn't even fathom trying to cook something every night. Are you kidding me? Those people have their shit together. Um, this is just easy mode. Okay, so now I've got it on like max. Uh, we'll see what happens. This is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot in here, but I'm really excited. It's very red. Is it supposed to be this red? I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I wonder we can do it. We can do it. Um, yes, XO. I totally can as well. But there's lots of people who like that thought drives them up the wall. Um, which, you know, teach their own for sure. Yeah, yeah, XO, yeah. Last thing I want to do on a workday is cook. Exactly, 24th. Hell yeah. Haha, <laughs> Leanne. The only thing I will say about a spouse who doesn't like to eat the same thing um, days in a row, it's it's kind of similar and it only like kind of helps, but there is the option of say prepping five servings or so of three meals and then you just freeze a whole bunch of them, right? So then you're you're eating meal A, then meal B, then meal C, then meal A, then meal B, then meal C. It is still kind of... Like, I think if you've got someone in your life who just can't fucking stand the idea, it doesn't always work for them. But if if there's a little bit of give there, it's a maybe. Make enough dinner to have leftover for lunch. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's get friend some cat nip. I'm just going to wait until he's done eating. I don't want to interrupt the eating. Uh, what do I need to have ready? I need to have ready 252 grams of pasta. I'm gonna get that ready while he finishes up. And I got fancy pasta. This is like name brand shit. I would never normally buy this. It's so fancy looking, but it's Detali pasta. 
and I'm gonna cook it. Uh, friend looks like he's ready for some weed. Yeah, that actually works out perfectly, XO, because this is 410 grams, so, um, works out pretty well. I'm not a big fan of fridge da -da -da -da. food. Coolsmo! Thank you for your Optimus Prime! That's very kind of you. That's really, really sweet. Thanks for spending that here. Um, when you did meal prep, you were like, whoa, this is super cool. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it can be alright. And there's certainly some things that are better than others. Um, like, potatoes don't freeze well at all. So, um, yeah. Hi! Do you want to get a hike? Uh -huh. Hey. Hey. You fat ass. There you go. What a guy. What a guy. Um. Don't put that in the meal. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that would do. Yikes. Oh, wow, Duck Dim and Dome. That is fucking fancy, dude. That is very fancy. Okay, this still is not boiling. I'm tempted to cover the lid to get it up to boiling, but it's just because my um, oven is kind of shit. Stove, whatever. And uh, it's a very small burner, but I only have two to work with. Um, it'll get there. It'll get there. It's got a lot of water to heat up. Oh, look how tiny it is. Look, look how tiny. My stove at me. That's really loud. Okay. Sweet. Two burners. Yeah, two of them are broken. Two hobs. Uh, okay, I'm done with this. Sweet. Okay, I am a thirsty motherfucker. What was I going to... What was I gonna do? Oh, it's getting there. I can like, I can feel it. I can feel it. I think I could start getting ready for Jelly's food. So, um, Jelly's. Oh yeah, I need to chop butternut squash. Oh, oh and I have to do uh, tomatoes or carrots anyways. So, um, do you guys see the cat? <laughs> he enjoys it. Um, that's from Warner. Have I... I have put in... Yes, I have put in all of that. I have not re-tasted it. I haven't tasted it at all, actually. Why don't I do that before it's fucking boiling? Um, I am horrible at, like, tasting my food and adjusting. It's not something I do very often. But maybe streaming this will help me get better at it. Um, you know? Yeah, no. So I'm going to take a bean and just some, ooh, yeah, I've got a couple beans, some broth, and some celery. You squeaking? It doesn't need more salt. I know that. I'll do a little bit more pepper. I think otherwise it's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah. I forget to as well. Chuck in a little bit more of that. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Do I have to cover anything at any point? I don't think so, right? No. 
Oh, I do have to cover jellies. Okay, that's why I have the cover out. Okay, I got it. And I also bought um, fancy fake cheeses for this. Um, he is a big cat. Yeah. An aphrodisiac, it's more of a aphrodisiac no, because that's like sexy, right? It's a stimulant. It's like, it's like X. No, that's kind of more of a, it, anyways, it makes you go, it gives him the zoomies. Um, look at, so some of these I bought for today, and then some of these I bought for four weeks from now. Um, actually, I think this is going to be the only one I used today. Uh, I grabbed a fake Parmesan cheese. I'm not, I don't usually get, like, fake cheeses, um, but I'm going to try it. Um, and then I also grabbed, oh, I thought this might be good for jelly, <laughs> for jellies. Um, but it's a melange Mexican, a Mexican blend. Um, and then I grabbed a feta as well. I thought somebody wanted feta, but that might be for four weeks from now. Um, so, but the Parmesan, I think, is a little confusing. Um, and I just don't know if I'm going to put it in, like, now while I dish it out or while I cook it each day. I would love to just be able to put it in now. It just feels, like, way easier. Um, it's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, yeah, Doug the Dome, they do. They do, they do. Okay, it's almost boiling. It's so close to boiling. I am going to... Oh, I'm going to get started on this butternut squash. It is going to be the worst. And guys, it's going to potentially look wasteful. But, um... It's going into the compost. We have all of the pets up here. Ah. Uh, should be fine to put it at the end of cooking. The cheese, yeah. Sweet. I love feta cheese. Mmm. Yeah. I think cheese, cheese and eggs. If I had to choose one, it would probably, I guess, be eggs. But, like, any sort of, like, really old, old cheese. Sharp. Old. Punch you in the face with flavor cheese is uh, my favorite, for sure. For sure, bud. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do this first. Um, okay. Yeah. Duck Divin Dome, no! I will put it out there, Doug Dibido, especially because you're such a mayo fan. Um, fake mayo is one of the few things that I do genuinely feel is tastier than the real stuff. Um, I love fake mayo so much so that like we sh we can't buy it because I will decimate it in a serving. It's just so good. Um, and I don't remember ever feeling so strongly about real mayo. You know? Ah. I uh, think it might be time for us to grab a new peeler. Oh, we lost another one. Oh shit, some of these might be... I might put a fair chunk of this in the veggie broth bag. Um, because I think this would bring, like, a sweetness. Because we all know that I am not sweet enough. Not naturally. That's for sure. You, like, the hell is vegan? Yeah! Me too. Shit's good, ma'am. Um, yo, Leanne, I do too. I'm not a fan of pumpkin, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really not a fan of pumpkin. Um, but butternut squash, ever since I learned that I like it, I like it a lot. I need to try, like, acorn squash and some of the other squashes, but butternut squash I'm familiar with, 
um, sweet potato I'm very familiar with. And, uh, yeah, I like just baking them, um, like just chopped up with a bunch of, like with olive oil over it and then some kind of like Indian style spices. So like either, um, going easy mode and just doing a curry powder or like cumin and coriander or even a garum probably, um, garam. Yeah, Doug. My flavor! Hello! My, uh, brother's family, they're allergic to eggs and dairy. Actually, I think they're potentially the exact same as you, but then for some reason some of them also don't eat meat. I think there's, like, some meats that make their stomachs go angry too, and so they're, they're the same. They, like, they do vegan things lots, but they aren't actually kind of, like, the emotion of vegan or whatever. Um, Flair, right now, at this exact moment in time, I'm about to put some pasta into some boiling e fagioli soup um, that will become the soup once the pasta is in it and cooked. Uh, and this is a recipe provided by EXO that I've changed to be veggie. And then uh, once that's done, I'm going to make mac and cheese, which is a recipe provided by Jelly that I'm tweaking to be veggie. And then I'm going to make a really easy stir fry for my husband. Um, and we have uh, three kilos of onions caramelizing. That's about it. Nothing, you know, nothing super fancy or anything. Pretty easy stuff. Rihanna? Okay, that's probably enough in there. And then I'm gonna do that. Oh my god. <laughs> my compost is already so full. <laughs> oh, look at the cat! He's in the box! He's in the box. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Got in the box? Mm-hmm. All right, listen. I saw you bubbling. Please bubble more. Please. Please. It's like, it's doing little tiny bubbles. It's not, um, it's not doing big rolling bubbles yet. <clears throat> it's trying. It's trying really hard. Uh, is Cat in the Box the follow game to Karen in a Box? Um, I don't know how we would adapt that. Oh, it's boiling more. I just want it to get really hot. Like me. Um, I don't know how big you chop your butternut squash there gels also probably help if i got all the skin off eh <clears throat> excuse me ah. oh these are like super thin i don't know why i'm doing it like that oh fuck whatever Um, blindfold to the box. Put your hand in it if you get caught, you lose. Okay, I think it's boiling enough now. I think I'm gonna get impatient and uh, just put the pasta in. Ah! Oh, almost died. Did you guys see that? I literally almost died. Oh yeah, sorry. You said nochi. I um, have never had it. I'm very embarrassed to state those words out loud. Oh, the fucking soup do be boiling now, boys. Okay, it is 1.16. Um, at 1.25. Uh, at 1.25, I will try some pasta and see what it is like. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, have I done everything? I think except for the cheese. Um, okay, I did celery, carrot, onion, garlic, sausage, onion powder that I forgot, maters, maters, beans, broth, pasta, and then cheese. Yay! Um, I don't have a gate on. <laughs> Fuck! I don't even know what I said. Doesn't fucking matter. Um, the butternut instead of the taters. Mm, man, I love potatoes. I feel like you pretty much can't go wrong with potatoes. Potatoes! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I know. I know. I am constantly fucking everything up. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. How much am I doing here? 200 grams. That's like nothing. Jelly, I think I'm doubling your recipe. I think I'm doubling Jelly's recipe. Um, I think it's gonna happen. Because I'm realizing... Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna do some quick maths. <laughs> um, because that's, that's only 300, and I don't know what the fuck to do with the rest of a butternut squash. Like, I can't... Shit. I feel like it's probably not... Yeah, I think the only thing kind of limiting how much I uh, expand Jelly's recipe is my Tupperware situation. But I think we might be all right. I actually think the soup is what I'm going to be the most stressed for Tupperware for. But we might just have to be a heathen and put soup in non-circular Tupperware. Oh no! Oh no! Boil it, mash it, <laughs> put it inside. Um, look at them. What am I supposed to do with you? Oh, 24th. You could do anything with them. Lemon roast to squash. Yeah, it's the best. Honestly, that might be, well, you know what we could do is I could just roast some squash and we could eat that tonight because, um, the, what we're supposed to eat tonight is like that lemon lentil soup that we made two weeks ago. Um, and it's very, the servings on it are really small. So, fuck it. Let's, let's roast some squash. Um, what am I doing? Uh, I'm doing this. I'm turning my oven on. Oh, I need to pick this up then. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. We got this, gang. We got this. Um, you could throw it in the pasta. Ooh, mmm. Um, the soup is boiling. Like, it's, like, boiling over, which is really nice. Oh, shit, I think some of the pasta's on the bottom. I haven't been good at stirring it. Um. Okay. Okay, we good. We're good. I'm really nervous about it. It looks great. But I've never made a soup like this. I think, um, I think I've never made a red soup. I think, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably go with some Indian flavors on the squash. Because it kind of works with the, with the old, uh, Lemon lentil soup. But to be fair, I will also probably just eat this. Um, like now. Because I'm getting hungry and I don't know if I can wait four more hours to eat. So um oh. Well I I did I did I'm not worried about it. I think it's gonna be great, XO. I'm stoked, man. <clears throat> okay. Ba. Ba, ba, ba. Um, 
much. Yeah. Very good. And then that means I don't have to waste as much of this. Now, butternut squash is a bit of a dick for the seeds. Uh, so because we compost, I'm usually not like super fussy about getting them all perfectly out. And I just kind of cut around them and then I just kind of do that. Um, it's, it's quite a bit here, I promise. Uh, yeah. Hi man, what's going on? How was, uh, being a fucking real life rocket scientist last night? I didn't see a lot of it. I saw that it was existing. And, uh, then I was having, uh, some panics about microphones. And I had to waste my time going to stores and not finding what I needed. But the bits that I did see looked hella fucking confusing. Which I think is a good thing. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree, Exo, for sure. Can we see your composter someday? Like the one outside? Do you mean? Probably. Probably. I don't see any reason why not. Um, I think we are probably pausing, putting stuff in there out for a little bit. Gunt said it's getting a little bit full and the city can collect it now, but in the spring, yeah. Eh. Oh my God, yeah. Um, very excited for the potential game. Fuck yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, Jay, sweet. Oh, okay, well shit. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got like a reason or whatever, um, I'll do, I'll take a photo next time I'm out. It's actually a nice day out today. Um, I was out there in a t-shirt. It was real nice. Um, okay. Soup, I think, is like almost done, gang. I'm excited and nervous. I'm, I am the scared. Eh? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here do we go. Yeah. Please. Oh, oh, I would have caught that though. Had it. I did the, the dad grab. That sounds problematic. <laughs> the old dad grab. Um, nah. Okay. Okay. Shit. Let's check the soup. I guess I just am checking to see, um, if the, oh my god, help, if the, uh, post is done, right? Okay, I don't like shit ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna shit. Oh no, it's on the bottom again. Oh, I'm the worst. Okay, hold on. Ah! Okay, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> huh, panic mode! Okay, ready? Deep breath. She says that she doesn't breathe. I'm just taking it off the heat real quick. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna taste it for flavor, um, but I'm also going to make sure the meat, even though it's not real meat, I wanna make sure it's like a cooked texture or whatever, and then um, make sure the pasta's cooked. I would suspect the pasta's probably cooked just fine. Gant and I both prefer our pasta a little bit al Dante. Like Dante's heaven. Wait, Dante's hell? Dante's gate? I don't know. Dante something. <laughs> I don't fucking know what. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh, yay, XO! The old dad grab. Yeah! Oh, don't Inferno! I don't. Even, I didn't say that, did I? That wasn't any of the things that I said. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have a pasta in there. I have a meat in there, and I have an onion in there. And broth. I just don't want to burn my face off. I did. I sure did. Yeah. What the fuck?
up. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I suspect. Mm, I have a sneaky suspicion that the um Mexican chipotle flavor of the snossage interfered with your more Italian flavor. Um, but it's great. I'm gonna try the cheese. The cheese. Um, yeah, it's really good. Oh, Axel, I'm so excited. And I feel like I could make that again. Like, that's a pretty low-stress recipe, which is really nice. And especially with the whole one-pot thing. Oh, that's super exciting. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's super exciting. Okay, let's try some fake Parmesan. Okay, here's the deal. I suspect Gunt won't want this. And I suspect Gunt would like that. So I'm going to choose to put this on when I eat the soup. So that's not now. Uh, but it's not horrible, but Gunt will like it. Um, super exciting. Hey, Arto! I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay. All right. So um, now we get to uh, try to dish this up nicely. Okay. Um, this is a lot. So I'm just going to take a little Oh my God, the stove. Do you guys remember what I said about getting like a tomato -y stuff everywhere? It's everywhere. Um, I'm just going to finish chopping up the banana squash and then I'm going to serve up the soup. Oh, I'm really excited about that XO. XO, can we get like, is there anybody willing to do a little bit of um, applause and or hearts and or sparkly goodness for XO? Uh, being willing to like share a recipe and have some kind of ass hat cook it live on stream. That's really sweet, man. Thank you. That's great. I'm genuinely going to add that into my rotation. I'm really excited about that. Have I ever had chow brand cheese? I don't think I have. I feel like you've maybe, you or someone else has maybe mentioned it before, Jay. Um, and I want to try it. I don't know if I've ever seen it in a store. But it uh, it should definitely go on the list, shouldn't it? Can I? Of course you can. Hell yeah, Axel. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you. That's really sweet of you. Might have been you, yeah. Okay, Ellie, we'll be here. Um, okay, I'm just gonna set this aside for two seconds while we, oh, I, I smacked you guys. <sighs> while we try to serve up some soup. Um, also, I'm gonna stir my onions. Ooh, they're like, yo, the pot is like only half full. Yeah! Ooh! Oh, they're doing stuff! Okay, I kind of want to. I just want to eat the onion. Mm. Ah, Jay. With both of you. Both of you. Um, I'm gonna grab a picture really quick. If that's okay, I'm gonna be one of those people. Um, oh man, this looks great! I would like to show you guys the soup, but there is no room for me to like tilt it. Um, I'm gonna grab a picture of both. Oh no, it's got my foot in it! Can't give those out for free. And then, okay. Um, you know? Yeah, no? Can we ban Jay? Heck no. 
Hey, Pickles. Hello. Uh, can I get you the soup? I can maybe get it here. I do want you guys to see the soup. I think I can get you to see the soup. Um, do I need this for anything else? Probably not. Probably not. If I do this, um, I mean, I could do that, XO. I could do that, couldn't I? Let me. Oh, oh, you can see it. Uh. Oh no, there's a little bit of foot. Oh no, I have to crop it. Hold on. It's like, I can't, um, I have a habit. Like, I always check my photos for feet, because I have been on the subreddits where people have, um, posted their photos, and they have had their feet in them. Yeah. Okay, there it is. I've posted Ready? it. Give but you, subscription. you can also see it. Yay! Jay! Jay! Thanks for gifting a sug to Duck Dog! Um, Flair. With all due respect. Hi, Teddy! You wild Americans. With your wearing your, your fucking shoes indoors. Is insane! Actually, it was probably really loud. Probably... In, like, it's insane. It's wild. Um, I recognize that I could be wearing socks, but socks also feel gross on my feet. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm barefoot. I'm always barefoot. Forever. Forever and always. Forever and always. Um, I am going to start with this up now. Okay. Okay. Shooting doors. Yeah! It's like a thing! That, that the America does. You know. You know, the America. <laughs> Alright. So. I only brought out six of these. Oh, I think that's all I have of the circular ones. So I'm definitely going to need more than that. But we'll, we'll, we'll sort something out. Um. Oh, your bunny is doing okay. Um, yeah, the slippers thing. My hubby wants me to wear slippers. No, I, uh, I really, like, I, I, I love my feet bare. Like, I go outdoors in bare feet as well. It, it, I am barefoot as often as is possible without, um, getting frostbite. And even sometimes with getting frostbite. Because to be honest, talking about my bunions... Um, if it's really cold in the house and I have bare feet, um, the cold makes my feet numb, <laughs> which means that I can't feel the pain from the bunions. Uh, so it's really nice, actually. It's a good thing. Um, but that doesn't happen too often. Ow, 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 ow. Speaking of, speaking of hot. Oh, this is cool, Exo. Exo, I feel like... If I had added either more pasta, more beans, or more meat, I feel like it um would almost be more stewish. Like I don't, you know, I don't pretend to know the actual definitions of things, but there's a lot of like stuff in here. Um, the 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 stuff to broth ratio, like look at this, is pretty fucking fab, my dude. Pretty fab. -a. Used to be barefoot of the time, and you got older, diabetes, yeah. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. Of course, of course. What kind of pasta do you, do you add? Ditali? D-I-T-A-L-I. Um. Yeah. Yeah. These are gonna be, like, fucking chonky portions, too, actually. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing, though. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I need to focus on not spilling. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, I think I can get at least one more serving out of there, if not two. Um, I'm just going to put these ones over on the dining room table to get them kind of like out of my way. Um, you would, Axel. Oh, Ditalini. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, all right. I mean, it would certainly make the portions like more hefty, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do these one at a time because they're hot. Boy. Oh, gang, I'm stoked. Although, shit, we've been going an hour and a half. Uh, that is a long time. <clears throat> Boy. Okay, here we go. Oh, I need a sec. So, if I was soup, yeah, I'm gonna try these. It feels like a crime to put soup in a non-circular receptacle, but um, I can't do anything about it. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, this might just be one more portion. I'm going to try to make it two. These are just the lunch versions. Oh, God could take these to work with him when he goes into work. That would be nice. I don't think he would, but... Alright. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool off for just a moment more. But basically, I'm just gonna rinse it and uh, start Jelly's recipe in it. Sweet! Lunch soup, dinner soup. Breakfast soup. I think Gun will like the soup. If I were a soup, what kind of soup would I be? I don't know. Yeah. Gee, I feel like the answer is kind of a cop out, but like my gut reaction is minestrone. Um, if I were a soup, would you still love me? Where are. I don't know. Excuse me. Okay, I need these, please. Uh, yeah, actually, it's fine. Okay, potentially lab drizzles? Bro, for some reason, the microphone doesn't pick that up. The microphone's right here. Um, you know what the answer is, uh, but this is more of like what my favorite soup is. Um, fucking, does it count as soup? Does clam chowder count as soup? I know it's like, I know it's like a, a chowder, but does clam chowder? Oh, Now, apparently there's a red one and a white one. I only know the white clam chowder. I've never had the red clam chowder. One of them is, is it called Boston style or something? Or something? I don't remember. Um, yeah. Okay. So what are we gonna put on our squash? Let's do, oh, salt is over here, pepper's over here. You've never had the Boston. Is the Boston the red one? Calm chowder. Hi, Mo. Chowder is a rich creamy soup that often, oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. 
Let's go. Take that, penance. Um, enjoy, Sunny. All right, what do I want to put on this? Um, what do I want to put on my squish? <sighs> oh! Shit. I hate being so short. Okay. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it, guys. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I'm gonna use, uh, I am gonna cheat, and I'm just gonna do, um, Jamaican-style Oh, there we go. Jamaican curry powder. Yeah! Okay. That's uh, probably not enough. Okay. Oh, shit. Every time. Um, I'm gonna do and then just a little bit of MSG because, like, I can't not. I struggle not to put MSG in things. It was actually very difficult not to put MSG in Exo's soup. Um, next time I make it, I'll probably put MSG in it. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I just want to get these going, because I do need the oven to roast, um, cauliflower as well. I know I probably don't need this, but it's just so much nicer when it doesn't fucking get angry. Um... MSG is delicious. Oh, so loosely. Oh, game. How to overcrowd a pan. One oh one. It could be better, but it could be worse. Oh, do you guys want to see something I got for? Um, oh, for polymer, super exciting shit, gang. Literally, the most exciting thing ever. I got an oven thermometer so I can tell how actually hot my oven is. Uh, because I suspect it's not the most accurate, and I actually suspect that my oven runs hot, but now I'll be able to tell for real. Um, if I had been thinking ahead of time, I would have, like, put it in there now, but I didn't, and it's too late, it's too late. I'm gonna do the cauliflower first. So, Jelly's recipe says that you can put it over pasta for, like, actual mac and cheese, um, and or... Uh, oh, I gotta do this. And or over like roasted, well, Jelly said boiled cauliflower. I respectfully refuse to boil veggies as like a way to eat them. Um, I always bake them. Because I am what you might call a dickhead. Uh, dickhead. All right. But I do think with the cauliflower, I won't put a lot of flavor on it. I am going to put it in the same bowl, and the bowl has, like, curry powder bits still in it or whatever. 
um even potatoes oh my god especially potatoes what are you doing i mean sure potatoes you can do anything with them but like consider the flavor difference between boiling potatoes and baking them in some sort of fat and some sort of spices um hot damn Mm. Honey McMash? I mean, yeah, you could, yeah. Like, yes. If you're making mashed potatoes, sure. Sure. I get that that would be generally the way to do it. Um, we don't make mashed potatoes almost ever. I would, really, because they don't uh, prep well. I guess we would only have them during, um, what do you call those? Like holiday meals? Um, and then, yeah, you mash them, put dill in them, put stupid amounts of butter in them, milk, if you're doing them non, non-veg. I'm going to do these fairly large. Yeah, I'm going to be really rough with them. Haha, <laughs> wink. Oh, cauliflower stem, anybody? Mmm. I mean, I get it. Like, mashed potatoes are delicious. Absolutely no disagreement there. But I think, um, if my, if my argument is just, like, amount of flavor or whatever, hands down, you'll get more of it baking them or frying them, I guess. Because... Usually, if you're going to boil something, you don't put, like, spices in it. I uh, could be wrong. I could be wrong there. Mm. Oh, no, XO! Oh, wow, Flair! Oh, wow! Okay, bye! Bye. Wait, Flair, will this bring you back? Will this bring you back? Guys, look at look at how much they've reduced. This was genuinely full to the rim um, of raw onions. Three kilos of onions. And uh, it has been on low for almost two hours now. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, I am. Mm. Jovian, you know, I don't think I've ever done that. Mm. Definitely a completely different thing, but something else I want to try uh, for Gunt is I want to try to make him a scotch egg. I feel like he would like that. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Oh yeah, I owe Brutus some carrots, don't I? Yeah, raw cauliflower is so good. Okay, resubscribe. Yes! We got him! We got them! We might just get those fucking plus points, boo boo! It's totally not gonna happen. Mm -mm. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh... Oh! Oh no! I've been putting the cauliflower stalks in the wrong bag. Okay. Don't, like, don't even look. Just don't look. Don't look. Don't look. It's fine. I only took out nice ones. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Everything's, everything's fine. Um, this is for <clears throat> the 
Wait, Jelly, do I need any broth for your stuff? No, right? Oh, boiling water, right. No, I don't need any broth for jellies. Okay, I'm gonna put my broth in the freezer. I, uh... I made a lot of broth. I know! I wanted it in the- I wanted it in the broth bag. That's why. I would- I would absolutely eat- I would absolutely eat and have been eating the cauliflower stems. Um, Gunt, I think, would not love it, so I'm gonna use it for broth. Okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're getting there, friends, we're getting there. Uh, let's get started on Jelly's Duber. So, we have the butternut squash. I, I wrote it down on the piece of paper as butt squash. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I just need guys. Uh, did you guys know that I have hot water? Cause I keep forgetting, and like, for how many years have I just been cranking all of the taps all the way, and uh, I can't do that anymore. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, jelly. So, chopped taters, diced carrots. Let's do the taters first, because the dog, whose name I'm not going to say out loud, is lying down. Um, so, I am not going to disturb him quite yet. How did you not have hot water? We, our hot water tank has been, uh, shit for a few years. And so we had, like, a little bit more than warm water. Um. Yeah. And I just thought it was hot. But I, uh, am realizing now, it was not. It was not even close. So the way that Jelly described it to me was that I needed floury potatoes, um, and I googled what those were and kind of what that meant, and uh, I did the best I could. I think these will work fine. Um, hot water set to what if I see? Mm, yeah, I don't know what are the setup to be fair, um, but I do know that now it hurts my skin nice, and it's it's great, it's delightful. Um, how much is 200 grand potatoes? One fucking potato! Okay. I mean, alright, I am gonna peel it. Oh, shit. Okay. I almost died. Well, no, I am gonna peel it. I wouldn't typically peel potatoes. Um, but this is gonna be, like, blended and stuff? Um, so, I think it just makes more sense. I'm tempted to put the potato skins in the veggie broth bag, but I don't think I will. I don't think that's, I like the, I like the nutrient idea of that, but maybe not the flavor of that. Um, was it for you, Red Mange? Because it sure as shit wasn't up here, man. Um, I, now mind you, I don't think I have ever showered in that shower down there, uh, but it was immediately beside the hot water tank, so maybe that helped. Um. Ah. But, uh, yeah, I can never get it hot enough up here. Not never. I mean, I could when we first moved in, but anyways, our hot water tank was literally 20 years old. Um, apparently it was put in in 04, new, and uh, the guy said they usually get changed out at 15, so. Um, I just uh, didn't have fucking spoons for a few years, apparently. But, okay, 50 grams of carrots. 
which I feel like is going to be one carat. Yeah, less than a carat. Carrots. Um, short, run the meat a better. Yeah. Hi, Jones. Hello, good day. Uh, yeah. I do also, I guess I, I take like relatively long showers too. I think you compared, um, I'm not quite at maybe a teenager level of long, but, uh, if I'm rushing and like washing my hair, which I wash my hair every time, I know you don't have to, whatever, but I do, um, at, at absolute bare minimum, it's 15 minutes, but usually it's 25 to half an hour. Um, so now... I get boiling hot water that whole time. Oh, I forgot to give some of this to the brewmeister. Okay. He's looking at me. He knows. He knows what carrots sound like, eh? These damn dogs. They're so smart. Um Yeah! Exo, I'm I'm here for it though, buddy. I'm here for it. Um Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna eat this one, Brew, because it looks a little big for you. Uh here you go. <laughs> they went all over my dining room floor. Uh, okay. And then, oh, veggie stock cubes. This is another thing I've never used. Uh, so I got to try onion soup mix from EXO. And then this is a veggie stock cube. Um, and then jelly said crumbled. So I'm going to crumble it into here. So I put it in the pan over high heat. Oh, with boiling water. Oh, I'm gonna boil the water in here first. Yeah, that is way smarter because I don't want to do my kettle because my kettle is normally where you guys are. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing, Jels. We're just shitting on you for <laughs> for for having uh, small amounts. Um, but. Like, I don't actually, I'm not actually shitting on you. I feel like you would like it if I did. Anyways, I hope this is a veggie stock cube because I just put it in. It kind of, um, I don't know. It's weird. Ow! Ow! Okay, let's get 450 milliliters of boiling water. So I'm going to boil the water in the pot. Um, milliliters would probably be this guy. Shit on me. This stream just got German. Wait, is pooping on people a German thing? Okay, wait. Up to there. Oh, that makes sense, because, yeah, there's half a liter. Dumbass. Okay, that much. Yeah. Um, and then this, because it only had water in it. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Excellent. All right, I'm gonna do this. Cover, simmer. Sure. Ah, yes. So, Jelly's original recipe calls for Quark. Uh, I only know Quark as a Minecraft mod. So, um, it is apparently like a cheesy type thing. All the internet, um, the internet related it to ricotta cheese or cottage cheese. Um, so... I, oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, please. Okay. Mm 
Ow, 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 that is hot. You goob. Okay, timer. Cool. Um, I'm gonna make quark out of tofu, basically. There was a few things you could do, um, and I'm gonna do tofu. Quark is also smaller than an atom. That makes sense. Um, the bartender in Deep Space Nine. Um, the smaller than atom thing makes sense for the Minecraft mod name, because the thing that Quark does in Minecraft is it, uh, just adds small things that you would kind of think would be in vanilla. And it, it, it specifically talks about small things. Um, so that's cool. So I'm also going to use the tofu. Jelly's recipe also originally calls for an egg white, no egg yolk. Um, if it was the egg white, I would have probably tried to do like a flax seed and water mixture. Um, but so I'm just going to use tofu that the same silken tofu that, uh, will kind of work for the, uh, egg part two. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm going to do it in here. I think, okay, this is almost boiling. <laughs> Yes, tofu seems to be good. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm going to do tofu and then a little bit of lemon and um, nut yeast. So how much is this? How many grams are you, bro? Oh, shit. This is uh, 300 grams. Okay. So I am going to do like almost two thirds of this. Oh, and then I got to figure out a way to use silken tofu, I guess. Uh, oh, I will try to um, just do a shake. I don't eat silken tofu almost ever. Uh, nut yeast. It's so good. I'll show it to you. Nut yeast is wonderful for B12 for veggie people. And, um, it provides a nice cheesy flavor. Um, if you guys could have heard the fucking sound. Oh. The, uh, nut yeast is kind of like my own addition based on gut instinct. It's a popular word. Oh, are you boiling? You're boiling. Shit, that's like so little. Boiling water, cover, simmer. Okay, I need to cover. Oh, oh, and simmer would mean reduce heat. Okay, please don't die. Ah. Are you still boiling? Following other people's recipes is so scary. I do too, jelly. Although I've never been able to do it raw. I know a lot of people use it um, like on popcorn raw. Um, I've never really loved that myself. I'm gonna do jelly. Jelly! Do I turn down the heat while it simmers? I do, right? Jelly! Fuck, I hate myself. Um, I'm gonna put this in here. And then I'm gonna freeze it. Ugh. 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 I'm not a fan of um, silken tofu. On like the regular, a little, yeah. Okay. Um. Like I, if I'm gonna be cooking a meal with tofu, I would usually uh, use firm. But there's like stuff that silken is good for. Um, please go down my drain. Okay. Okay. So, do you, uh, do anything yet? Please do your thing. You, I'm gonna freeze right away. Okay. Oh, have good food if we don't see you. If we do see you, we want to know what you're having. Friends. 
I just had a wonderful realization. Um, we have in our freezer, we have like real cheese curds um, that are generally intended for poutine. Uh, Gunt can use those for his pasta. I feel like that would be wonderful. Wonderful. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they'll squeak after being frozen, but delicious either way. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to do like a wee dash of lemon in here. Um, in the tofu that is turning into quark and uh, a little bit of nut yeast. I'll show you the nut yeast. I just want to make sure this thing like starts simmering. All right. I don't know. At like 2.30ish, it'll be ready. No, that's way too long. 2.25ish. Okay. There's a little bit of lemon. And now I need to put this in something. <laughs> God damn. I mean, at least I have a reason for owning this much Tupperware now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be kind to future Tony real quick here. And I'm going to pre-slice my lemon. Just at least the, yeah, at least half of it. Um, cause then I can do a wee squeeze on, uh, some meals without like having to put any effort into it. I love that for future me. I love when present me has oomph, aka spoons, aka drive. It's all about man. It's all about drive. I don't know the fucking words. Um, okay, JBMF, if you want to see what nut yeast is, my friend, behold the nut yeast. Yeah, jovial. I do. I do too all the time. Nothing wrong with that. Um, here. Uh, it's just, it's just flaky deliciousness that is veggie and it has lots of B12, whoop, B12 in it, which my doctor says I have to eat. Well, oh wait, I don't have a doctor anymore. Woo! Yeah, nooch. Nooch, lots of people call it nooch. Um, and it, it tastes like cheese. Ish. There's a very big ish there. It can help add a cheesy je ne sais quoi to some dishes. Um... Do I know whose nuts it came from? Um, yo mama's. She got it from her mama. Anyways, I'm chucking it in. I'm just gonna do that much. And then uh, Jelly's recipe calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of mustard powder, which feels like such a small amount. I'm gonna look at it and then I might quadruple it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, Mustard powder. So I didn't know if that was different than ground mustard. So I bought mustard powder. It looks different. Maybe. I'm going to eat them both. And see. Um. Je ne sais craft. <laughs> Oh, I think it is different. Okay, so I guess I've just never had it. You know how some spices are not good when you just eat them? Mmm. Well, I can tell you... I mean, maybe I'm making it up, right? But I believe ground mustard is grosser when it's raw. Not, woo, neither of them are great raw. Wow, yeah, those are, those are what you might call ass. Um, but because it is basically the only spice going in here, other than maybe salt and pepper, um, I am gonna put a teaspoon of it. Oh, maybe a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna at least do half a teaspoon. Ow. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. I'll leave it. That seems that seems pretty reasonable. For the amount, I also didn't realize kind of like how little all of this is. Like uh how small the recipe makes. So um I think that's I think that's pretty reasonable. 
Um, yeah. Okay, and then a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. All right, so this will go into that. Oh my God, I have to learn how to use the stick blender. No! Oh. Okay, so typically, I'm not a huge fan of backseating in my cooking streams, but hey guys, how do I not kill myself with an immersion blender? Um, fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. But this is it. Oh yeah. Put the blender in first and then turn it on so it doesn't spray. That's what I'm actually worried about is just it spraying everywhere. I'm also realizing that my pot here, like with the stuff in it is really shallow. Um, so I wonder if I should put it in a different receptacle, but it's, you know, I, I don't think I have anything else. Um, I'm just very scared in general. Um, right. Well, I'm wondering if it's too deep is what I mean. Oh, but like you're saying, any spray might not go above the edges. Cause like, it's just the amount that's in there is like, it's only this thick at the bottom. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Is it? Okay. I'm going to trust you guys. I'm going to trust you. Water, yeah. It only sprays if the blade is out of the liquid. Okay. The other thing I was think I'm, I might be a little worried about is hurting the pot, but like the blade is in here. So this part, if it touches the bottom, can touch the bottom, but the blade won't. So I think I think there's not a lot of risk of me hurting my pot, right? And I can just be really gentle with it. So, oh, oh yeah, because it's also got um, a whisk attachment. Can I just use the whisk? The blade shouldn't touch the pot. The guard will. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that makes sense to me. I'm so scared. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, I was supposed to put, I wanted to put a little bit of aquafaba in it. Um, that was a, another bit of kind of what I read for trying to make this a little bit more quirky. So I'm just going to do a dash though. Um, there, and then I'm going to put the rest of this in the freezer just to give it like a little bit more flavor. Um, it probably won't be a perfectly cheesy flavor, but It'll be something. Okay. Uh, the other thing we could do. Oh, I want to get the um, cauliflower actually ready. Oh my god, the onions! Guys, I don't know if the onions are going to be done by the end of stream. They're very liquidy. But I don't want to drain them. <laughs> Water. That was school not work. But it's so much safer. <laughs> okay, onions. No, not onions. Cauliflower. Um, oh, sorry, I'm probably obscuring all the views. Please. Did I? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Okay. That's probably a lot. That's fine. I am gonna put MSG on the cauliflower. Yo. Hi, Giovanni. What's happening? Good day, good day. We're making mac and cheese. The fake version. Not fake version. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's logical, jovial. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. All right, these are ready to replace the 
Butternut squash. I heard it. Uh, please be done. Oh, yeah. Oh, gang. Let me just. Oh, she's done. I know. Here, I'll show it to you, though. Um, I'll show you the squash. Yeah. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat it right now. Ooh, cat. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to put it in a bowl. And I'm going to eat it. It's going to be my breakfast. Can I have one of these bowls, please? Okay. Ah, shit, ass, fuck. Ugh. <laughs> Just making really annoying noises now. Okay, so that's my food in a minute. In a minute. Um, put you over there. And then cauliflower, please. Put this right there. Delightful. I'm done with this now. Uh, I will use it though for guns veggies. Good. Good, good, good. And uh, I'm not going to bake the cauliflower nearly as long. Very different, like, cooking time vegetables. Oi! I'm probably. Oh, no, no. I'm going to start at 10 minutes and then see what it's like. Okay, I think, I think, um, this might be done. I don't remember when I put it in. So, uh, he's in, like, the physical office, not the cool, toady living room, funny, ha ha office. He's in the actual office. Um, yo, Jelly, that's bad. Yeah, as soon as you, when you mentioned like that you could use it for lasagna makes total sense um i can absolutely see that working out really well and it feels way easier than my like super pain in the ass cashew fucking cheese bullshit that i've done for a veggie lasagna before depending on how well this stick blending goes i might fucking die so um all right let's get it off the heat <laughs> Who's ready for death? Oh, uh, and it's just it's like boiling water. Like I'm gonna spray boiling water up my fucking face. I'm so scared. Dark question. I'm so scared. Um, things in the past have called for using an immersion blender and I've literally just sat here with a fork and squished it like as much as I could. But I feel like I've got to fucking learn. I would be more confident getting my hammer drill and my concrete mixing bit and using that. <laughs> that I could do, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna take your word on this. I'm gonna take your word on this. Oh, and I put this in it first, right? Okay, I did all that. Take the quark and put it in the stuff. Okay. I'm doing the thing. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I have to sneeze, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm so scared. Yeah, Exo, I should. 
I should. <laughs> Jelly. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Guys, I gotta stop being a little booch. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna, like, mix it around first. Huh? Uh-huh. It looks pretty. Um. And I have a plug over here. Okay, so if uh, if I die, if you guys see boiling water hit my face and I'm like dying, um, just four one one nine one one, you'll be fine. Also, I'll probably get banned from Twitch, so it's not you know it's not a big deal. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, now there's a one and a two on it. There's a one and a two on it. <gasps> Lower bell. Um, hi. Oh, bugger me. <laughs> That's the one? Uh. Lorbell, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh my god! It's actually so scary! Okay. It's totally fine! <laughs> It doesn't make nearly as scary of a sound. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, so my instinct is like to bring it up and down and stuff um, to like get the chunks, but as soon as I start to bring it up, um, it's like starting to spray a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> we always called it a sludge globber, sludge gobbler. Oh no. Anyways, I'm just going to be a little bit precious with this. Okay. This thing vibrates really nicely. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Jelly, I want, like, all chunks gone, right? Am I aiming for zero chunks here? <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Also, it's supposed to probably be a little bit thick, right? It's probably supposed to get a little bit thick. I'm tempted to get some flour. Yeah, zero chunks. Okay. Okay. Norbell! At this exact moment in time. I'm making a mac and cheese, like a veggie version. Uh, Jelly gave me the recipe, and then I I extra veggied it. Um, if you go exclamation mark menu, it'll show you all the ingredients. Uh, a little thick, but if you need more water, go for it. Okay, 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 okay. Chunks are a no-no, okay. Um, as the chunks blend up, it'll thicken. Right, I shouldn't, like, pre... Okay, I'm still terrified and i'm gonna throw it out there i have a bum thumb and my bum thumb is like kind of hurting from the vibration but it's okay it's okay i'm just scared
This is so scary! I gotta check it for chunks. <laughs> so scary! Angelic's <laughs> playing with big boots. <laughs> oh man, a jovial was it? Oh yeah, you said four da, da, da. Oh no. Alex! Hey, thank you so much. Thanks! Um, it kind of does, Jelly. It has certainly gotten, like, more, um, orange, which is pretty rad. G-Money, it's called an immersion blender, if you want to be fancy. And if you want to be not fancy, it's called a stick blender. Oh, jovial! Okay, okay, let me, sorry, let me, I'm, okay, Jelly, is this about how long it usually takes? I'm so scared! Oh, there's so many chunks. Oh, but it's thick. Oh, oh what the fuck? What? So cool. <clears throat> um, I just want to hold on two seconds. I just need to put the pot lid away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's probably fine. Reddit. A new follower! Oh! Noodle, welcome. I hope you're well, I hope you enjoy. Blend the soup to the cup, you're nice. Yeah, yeah! Okay, 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 cool. I just, I heard the, um, oven go off. So, is that done? Okay, still a little bit warm, but... Ah! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Let's just see what's up with the calling. Okay. Oh, Ooh. okay. I think my favorite part of these cooking streams is when the oven, like the inside of the oven gets turned off. Cause like that reduces the heat output so substantially. Um, oh man, look at, okay, hold on, hold on. I want to show you the cauliflower. I'm really excited, Jelly. And then I'm going to continue doing the soup. I'm just I'm really scared. Ooh, it's so little. I might, I might cook the rest of that pasta. And, uh, oh, where are you guys? You're over here. Um, cauliflower. I might cook up the rest of the pasta and, um, put it over, like, both pasta and cauli, to be honest. T-B-H. But I want to get it smooth first. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, ready? I'm astounded my mic isn't picking it up. Um, cause like, it's making some fucking noise. Oh, we might be done. Okay, just a little bit more. Ooh, a little bit up there. I've gotten too confident. I almost ate shit, friends. I almost ate shit. Oh my god, I want to call my mom and tell her I did it. <laughs> tell my mom! Hi, Amy! Hey, friend! Um, oh my god, Jelly. <laughs> Eating shit is the last step of this recipe. Oh, oh, this is so exciting! Okay, okay, I'm gonna unplug it first. I'm an electrician, and I'm smart with electronics. Just not with anything else. I'm gonna just put this somewhere. Um, so I made... We've got onions caramelizing. I have made pasta e fagioli soup from EXO. And now I've just made a uh, mac and cheese sauce from a jelly. I'm so excited! Oh, jelly! 
Jelly, I could pee. I'm so excited. Okay, what time are we at? Okay, we're fine. We have so much time. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. And then I really wanna call my mom. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna call my mom, but I really want to. Um, here. I'll show it to you guys. And then I think I'm gonna boil the rest of that pasta as well. Cause I was hoping for this to be at least four meals worth. And I think it's four meals worth of the sauce, but I don't think I made four meals worth of cauliflower. So um, I'm just gonna do like half cauliflower, half pasta in each thing and then put the sauce over it, right? Oh my God, uh, bro. It, it needs cheese. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jelly and I just have the exact same wavelength. So Jelly, I have, it's not gross. No, 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 it's good. It's really good. I, um, I am a big texture person, huge texture person. And I've never enjoyed a soup that has been, uh, like when I read recipes and they tell you to blend the soup, I just never do it. Um, I hate it. It's disgusting. This shit, maybe it's because in my head, I'm like thinking of it as a sauce rather than a soup. Um, it's good. I can really taste the butternut squash. I did put nut yeast in it. Yeah. Um, I maybe, maybe could have put a little bit more nut yeast in it for a little bit more cheesy flavor. And I think if I was going to add anything, I might add garlic. <laughs> Cause like, I can't not have garlic, but it's good jelly. It's great. I'm, I will do it again. Um, when I'm a little bit less afraid of this guy, but that's awesome. And like, fuck, it's going to work so good with lasagna, bro. Lasagna, bro. I hate myself. Um, okay. Let me get things going, uh, to start making the pasta. Cause I want to do the pasta first and then guns dinner. Um, guys, thanks. Oh, this is so exciting. Mm. And I forgot I had butternut squash over there to eat. Um, so I need to get on that. What am I? Right. These. I'm using these ones. Um, Jelly, thank you. Ooh, a sandwich. A little English mustard. Ooh. We put ground mustard in it, but I could. Um... Oh, I didn't buy any. Anyways, I do usually grab a nice like Dijon mustard and that, that makes sense. I, I totally get the mustard flavor usage. Mmm, jelly! Jelly? <laughs> I want you to know, but you know what? This applies for Exo too. There, between now and two weeks from now, there will be multiple evenings where at least myself, if not also Gunt, will be moaning and crying your name. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is really exciting. God, I love having new recipes. I've discovered a new recipe that should be a fucking sound redemption, except those don't work on cooking streams. Um, that's awesome. Ah. Oh! I'm so happy, and I'm so happy I didn't fuck it up. Go me. No, you're good, Amy. You're totally good, bud. Um, I'm glad someone knows my name. Especially, um, guy, because he's got a pretty sexy voice. You just can't tell me I said that. Okay, guys, I need to do a wee cleanup. Hey, CPP, what kind of glasses do you want me to wear? Or, if you let me choose, I suspect that you might enjoy my decision. Um, hi, Fran. What am I? Okay, I need to put this somewhere. I need to clean up. You pick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. All the kids think I'm so hip. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta tidy here. I gotta tidy. Um, hey man, I hope you're well. Yeah. 
You concur about his sexy voice? Yeah. I told you guys a million times before, right? Like, when, uh, when I first met Gunn, my key and I met at work for an airline, and he would, uh, do the voice, like the flight recordings. So you call it, and it says, flight number, this, 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 is scheduled to arrive at this time. And I would just call that and listen to it, because I was, uh, I was fucking lame. Let's be real. Um, a fancy like duper. I have two. Oh yeah, you can see it actually. Yeah, because last time, two weeks ago, um, like the time that I stream is really dumb because I start stream at 12 noon when it's super lovely bright out. And especially now in the winter, uh, by the time I've done stream, it's a uh, very dark out. And so natural lighting is just not going to work. So I have brought in unnatural lighting. I need to put that pan. Oh, I could just put it there. That's probably not the best decision, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Really not the best decision. Okay. Okay. Now, can I put this over this before I do the pasta? I have to. I have to. Yeah. We're going to make it happen. We are, we are. Um, guys, thanks for hanging out. How's, how's everybody doing? How are we doing on this fine, fine Wednesday? Uh, basically, we just have... Oh, jelly. <laughs> oh, I feel manic. Um, we just have uh, easy shit left, which is nice. But these onions, my friends, I don't think I've actually ever like filled that pot with onions before to caramelize them. So I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, they're quite wet still and I'm not a huge fan of the idea of like dumping any of the liquid I feel like that kind of takes away from the flavor that they will provide oh jelly this is insane shit this might have been enough if I if I wasn't serving this while I was hungry I think this would be enough for um, at least five servings, if not six. Okay. Okay. Great. This is fantastic. I now know that this works well for, like, a larger prep as well. But, uh, it's vegetables. It's healthy. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! I'm so happy. Okay. Okay. So I'm just uh, going to, well, I'm going to put these nearby because I need to, oh, I didn't show them to you. Oh, I didn't get a picture. Oh, I'm a jerk. I'm actually the worst at things. Um, When you bake it, it might thicken up a bit. Wait, what are we baking? It does look like cheese sauce. Yeah, it really does. Um, G Money, I'm so sorry. The Mac? Oh, I'm not doing that. Wait, am I supposed to do that, Jelly? Um, Jelly said uh, it would work well in a lasagna. Um, so that kind of makes sense to bake that. But today is not that day. Lord of the Rings, everybody? Um, no, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to eat it like this. I think I've spent a lot of my, like, energy points. That's a weird thing to say out loud. That sounds like I'm being a loser. Um, which, fair enough. <laughs> really? Oh, man. Ah. Um, okay. I just, I need to get uh, pasta going. Microwave it. Yeah. Oh, the cheese! Ah! Um, I think, shit, I don't know when to do the cheese. I should have put it, honestly. Oh, that's what I've screwed up. I should have... I think the best thing for this to do would have been to put the cheese in the, like, pot. Um,
either before or after um, blending it. I would say maybe after blending it. Uh, but I will just add it probably when we eat it. You add it after, yeah. So I've got a par I've got a few cheeses. I forget if you were snoozing. Um, what do you want to eat again? Yeah. So I've got a parmesan because that's what EXO was gonna would use for his, and then I've got a Mexican blend. Um, and Gunt has like real cheese curds that are for poutine. Um, so we're good, man. We're good. We Gucci fam. As the kids say, I need to eat this better at squash. Okay. Uh, but I first need to, I just want to get some of those soups, um, in the fridge and freezer. Sorry for me just, like, fucking reefing up my pants. Hot! So, let me just sit and think for a minute. Today is Wednesday. Today, we are having lemon lentil soup. Fine. Both of us. Um, Thursday, Gunt will have stir-fry. Friday, Gunt will have stir-fry. I will have exos and jellies thursday and friday um so i only need one soup out of the freezer sweet got it yeah leanne yeah i don't know which one i'm gonna end up using but i think they would both provide their own i mean i might just use both okay hold <laughs> hold Okay. Hello, my name is Dodie, and I have soup. Um, should have used onion, liquid juice. Ooh, that would have been yum. I do think the uh, caramelized onions will also go really well in the mac and cheese. Um, I think so too, XO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to use all of it. Yeah, babies! Okay. Ah! Help! Somebody come play Tetris for me! In my freezer! <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, next time I make this soup exo, I will uh I will definitely look and see if there's a more Italian style snossage. Um yeah, alright, sure. And or I just make it next time for gunt with like the real stuff. I feel a little bit more tidy. Um, you just need to boil. I'm going to put this in there. Oh, I have butter squash. Hello. Breakfast. What are you talking about? Breakfast. Matt. Mmm, shit. That's all right. Sorry to eat on stream, <laughs> but it's really good. That's really good. God damn. Okay, so what I can do is I can now start getting vegetables ready for uh, Gunt's stir fry. Um, I got a lot of veggies for his stir fry. Mm-hmm, jelly, me too. 
Yeah, it's really good. I just, uh, I just did olive oil and a curry powder thing, Jamaican style. Oh, and MSG and salt and pepper, but. Okay, I'm gonna put the celery in the fridge. Hello, fridge. And, um, I guess. Are you boiling? Almost. Uh, now all these veggies, I'm just gonna put in a big bowl. And then I'll put the bowl in the pot when it's ready. No, CDB! What's, um, CDB, if you had to eat only one, like, ethnicity or style or whatever of food for the rest of your life, do you know what it would be? Ah. Okay. Oh, I have to remember to tell my mom that I used an immersion blender. She's gonna be so proud of me. Um, Mexican, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty great fucking option, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Oh, I just didn't cut the thing out well enough, okay. I thought that I had a pepper inside a pepper, but I didn't. Um, Mexican's a great, great option. I have been jonesing to make enchiladas. So two weeks from now, it's my dog's birthday, and uh, we're going to make him homemade dog treats for the meal prep stream. And I'm trying to think of kind of like what else I can do alongside that that isn't too difficult. And like enchiladas can be a little bit kind of finicky but if you don't care about um being authentic they're kind of easy um korean mmm japanese yeah you some cheese yeah 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 Do oh jelly i mean shit oh hey spoiling um we could trade jelly i could send you my dog cookie one Uh, I made my dog cookie recipe for the vets because <laughs> we were we were bringing him to the vet three times a week forever, right? So on his uh, on his last visit, I brought them all like dog treats in a little baggie, um, and they really liked them. They uh, emailed me afterwards and were like, "Can you give us the recipe?" And I definitely did not come up with the recipe. It's I, I it's from the internet, but um, yeah. And I have uh, cookie cutters that are little dog bone shapes <laughs> that I got just for just for him. I like to do it for him every birthday and every Christmas. But I think I didn't do it this year for Christmas. But I think I think this Christmas was especially shit. Um. uh hosted a pop-up cafe <gasps> yeah yeah that's what uh oh shit jelly that works out really nicely because that's what the cookies are as well they're pumpkin puree and uh peanut butter so chances are i will still have too much pumpkin pumpkin puree so i could um use up a good whack of it with the muffins I forget what else it is. It's pumpkin puree, peanut butter, obviously a tiny bit of salt. Oh, I forget it. I have to look it up every time. Um, I've just realized I have no way of straining my pasta. And you guys are in the way of my strainers. So, so, if I was an intelligent human being, I would solve that problem now, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, yeah, cool, 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 cool. But yeah, I might do enchiladas in two weeks, because that's a really great idea. I was just thinking, I have um, a ridiculous amount of coconut milk 
and like some pre-made Thai style flavored coconut milks. So I was thinking of just making 25 portions of curry. Really easy curry next week. Mm. Two weeks from now. Um. But because four weeks from now is going to be potentially, potentially difficult. Not difficult, but like uh, more, more experimenting. So I need a, I need an easy one. Okay. Can't see shit in these sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know whose idea this was. But, you know. Um, the way that I chose the veggies for Gunt's um, stir fry is I'm basically just trying to get a few, one veggie of like many different colors. Um, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're so sorry. Now you want to make your curry potato hot pot. Mm. My God. Stop saying your recipes. Stop it. I'm already hungry. I have uh, don't think I've ever made hot pot. I mean, I know I've never made pot pot. I don't think I've ever had hot pot. Isn't that where you take the thing and then you dip it in the sauce? Mm. It's like fondue, but less gross. Maybe equally as gross? That's for cooking with squash. Wow. You know, Phil, I would have said, if you ever make your way up here, we would host you and cook you dinner. Nowadays. Or now. Um, I also might just put squash in my enchiladas. <laughs> but no, I just, I really like putting on squash. I do, I do. How to explain hot pot. Yeah, I don't think I know what hot pot is. I think I'm very embarrassed, to be honest. But I don't think I actually have an understanding of what hot pot is. Um, sorry. Oh, shit. Can't see a fucking thing. Yeah. British hot pot is a baked stew or casserole made with meat or fish covered in layer of potatoes. Oh, do we over here call it scallop potatoes? Because fuck me, are scallop potatoes not something, one of the most delicious items in the entire world? Although, I don't think we, I, like, anytime I've made scallop potatoes, I don't think I've put, like, meat stuff under them. It's always just been, like, taters and cheese and stuff, but... So good jelly. Um, I also have a pretty all right recipe for that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Curry powder is a great idea. That's a good idea. Sorry to point at you. Sorry. Um, how much broccoli do I want to give this guy? I guess I'm trying to make six portions, so I am gonna use up all the broccoli. Um, for full, like, transparency, I will be cooking pea meal bacon, uh, after stream for Gunt's stir fry. Um, I'm just gonna cook it in, like, slabs, like you would if you were having it for brekkie, and then I'll, I'll cut it into strips. Um, he really likes pea meal bacon, and, uh, it'll be more protein for him. So... Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Lord. Please. Please. Uh, 
I'm just like cooking and chewing now. I actually do feel really bad about eating on stream, but now I've started. I'm not gonna be able to stop. Point at me any day. So rude. Was anybody else brought up that pointing is rude? I feel like um, there's a lot of things that I was brought up with that are like really, really ingrained in my memory or whatever um, that I struggled to get over. Like pointing at people, super rude. Uh, I was very much brought up as like a sir ma'am person, um, but a lot of people really don't like that. And it's gender, gender specific, so. Um, but it's, it's really hard to kick some of these habits. Toady, can you move the pasta box? Oh, I'm so sorry. Look at Leanne, I did it without even reading. We got, they were just connected. You'll eat broccoli. Um, you were told that too, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess the nice way to indicate is to like, do this rather than this. Um, oh, it was broccoli. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Now what? Oh, I think the pasta might be done. Okay. I still can't see a fucking thing. Oh, thank you, Turdbot. Um... Wait, what was what? Okay, uh, I need to drain my pot without a strainer. Uh, yeah, I literally can't get to my strainer. Oh. <laughs> like, you know, you, or like you, like I think, I think the important bit is like the open hand. I don't know. That's that's how I remember it. Um, are you hot? Okay. Ooh, she's hot. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Get the pasta off the bottom. All oh, the onions. Okay, guys. They are starting to turn like the caramelizy color. Oh yeah, right? I seem to be, I seem to have um, a half decent tolerance for heat, but like generally I have a very, very low pain tolerance. Um, but heat on my hands seems to be the one thing that doesn't make me ball. I need something. Oh yeah, I can tell it's like starting to get dark outside. I'm ready for winter to be over. Anybody else ready? Can we be hands up for winter being done? Would be real swell. Okay. All right. Not how I recommend straining a very hot Dutch oven. What? What is a cooking stream without a little fiasco? I think you just really need patience for this to work. I'm not looking at you. Oh, shit. There's pasta falling out. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I am strong. I think that's fine. Oh, yeah. It is. It's getting like it's 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 also just a really dreary day. Like I think it's I think it's really overcast. Um, yeah, yeah. EXO. Hell yeah. Water. I mean, jovial bringing us back to back to reality. You're right, of course. Um. Our children are so fucked, but, <laughs> but, uh, okay. These are from Jelly. Oh my God, Jelly. 
I guess I'm going to see how well this freezes too. I don't think it'll freeze too poorly. I mean, pasta isn't like the best in the freezer, but it's sure shit not the worst. Cauliflower is fine. And um, a cheese sauce, I think would be fine as well. So, uh, I'm excited. Look at my little, my little noodles. I've never had these noodles before either. Oh. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bud. All right, friends, we're on the home stretch. Um. Yeah, it's, I think we probably very similar weather CVV. We had a uh, we had a big old dumping or three of snow over a very short period of time, and then haven't really had anything since. Um, but look at I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna put that <laughs> around my mouth. Uh, yeah, I'll take a picture of this. I should have uh, taken a picture. Oops, before taking it out. But oh, get the foot out of there every time. Every time with the feet. Okay. Oh, and I want to show you guys the onions too. Um, defrosted in the microwave for ten minutes. Oh, oh, oh. interesting. Really, EXO. EXO, I forget where you are. Like, I know you're in America, but I forget where you are at all. Um, yeah, when I took Brew out, I was in a t-shirt. I mean, not exactly warm. I don't think our British friends would have been in a t-shirt, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, you know what I am going to do, though? Where's my fork? Hello? Okay, we have lost the fork, but fret not, we have a spoon. Um, and I'm gonna take the spoon, and I'm gonna take some pasta, and some cauliflower, and I'm gonna put it in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. Fuck, Jelly. All right, here we go. I think this is like the real test. If I wanted to be super with it, I would put the cheese on it, but I tried EXO's without cheese, so. Atlanta, no, oh, EXO. XO. Right. Mm. I'm gonna shit. <laughs> it tastes like mac and cheese. Jelly, I don't remember the last time I had mac and cheese. Up here, we call that shit craft dinner. Um, and I don't remember the last time I had craft dinner. Wow, dude. That's nuts. Like, it tastes like cheese. Like, I don't remember. That's so cool. Holy shit. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Exo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Man, you guys are fucking... Oh, people with food... Oh, yeah, do you guys want to see my onions? Can I show you my onions for you, please? Can we get the recipe in Discord of Jelly shitting and crying? Yeah, Jelly, please shit and cry and put that recipe in Discord. <laughs> oh, oh, guys. Oh, guys, these onions. I don't think I can really do them justice in a camera show you a bit here um that's kind of the best i can show you here but they're getting like they're getting that color you know the color you know the color just barely show you there gang gang i'm really excited about the caramelized onions especially because they freeze so well um god Damn. Okay, speaking of onions, let's start, let's, uh, stir fry. Shall we? I have to cut more onions, yay! Oh, 
Although, Gunt is not a huge Onion fan, so I'm not going to do too many. How's your guys' view? Yeah, you're alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're pretty stellar. Um, yeah. I am I'm excited about them. I love it when that fucking 4.5 kilo bag of onions goes on sale. It's like Christmas. You know? It's like Christmas. Okay. Oh, that's kind of gross. Let's get that out of there, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, friends, we're making good time, too. This is great. This is fab. What's the plan for the rest of the night, everybody? Um, I wanted yesterday to do a bunch of the polymer stuff, like, on my own or whatever, off camera, I guess. Um, and that didn't happen because I panicked. So I think it might actually be able to happen tonight, which I'm really, I'm really excited about. Um, oh, hey, that is a hair. Definitely one of mine. Um, oh, Jelly! Here, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing the recipe. Yeah, another huge, giant thank you to both Jelly and EXO for being willing to share recipes. Um, some people kind of hold their recipes dear. Um, and, you know, sure, right? But I especially appreciate it when people don't, for obvious reasons. You know? You don't know? Okay, um, I just want to get butter in here. Although this is guns. Oh! Thanks, Dan! <laughs> thank you i appreciate you i hope you have a lovely rest of your day um thanks for throwing bits at me uh yeah take care of yourself and stuff and stuff and stuff um friends sad news we have no real butter i think we might have a stick of it but i think it's in reserve for butter tarts for guns family um also for <laughs> actually I need to make uh, butter tarts for the person who's helping me with my taxes next weekend. Um, Warner, guys, thank you. Thank you both for the support. This is my butter knife. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very sweet, guys. Ah! That is broccoli that I just stepped on. So it's not going to go... It's not going to go anywhere. Now, this is for Gunt. Gunt is not super concerned about being healthy, so um, we're just going to give him a good hunk of stuff. Pickle, hello! You can butter my tart. Jelly, have you ever had a butter tart? Um, it's a very, like, traditionally gift Canadian gift. and Or gift. <laughs> I saw that, obviously. Um, dish. Dish? Thing, and it's so good. Uh, hey, I'm ordering a gift and stuff to G Money. G Money, I hope that you're not stuck in a meeting right now. Um, and if you are, I'll tell your boss, you deserve a raise. Um, thanks, Warner. I don't know, you guys are, you guys are being really kind. You're really, really kind. Um, I have uh, very exciting news. I forgot that I had mushrooms. I'm gonna put the mushroom stems in my broth bag and it's gonna be great. Mm. Jelly! I don't know where this bitch came from! Your mama! They got it from their mama! Um, Jelly, thank you for the bits. Guys, thank you. But, okay, we're good. We're alright. Everything's fine. We're Gucci. Um, I need to rinse the mushrooms. I'm kind of a heathen, and I don't rinse a lot of my produce. Um, mushrooms I do, because they're quite literally grown in shit. So, we're going to do that. And I'm really going, I'm winging this uh, 
stir fry. But the nice thing is it's a stir fry. And um, it's pretty hard to fuck up, isn't it? Okay. I'm being quiet because I don't want the microphone to pick up the sink, like the water. And I suspect it does when I'm talking. I guess I'm not sure, but... I'm watching you, Lord. <laughs> Ellie! Got a subscribe train! Choo -choo. <laughs> Sorry. Spat my mouth a little bit. That's kind of, I'm sure that's pretty cute, eh? Um, Ellie, thank you. Really, even when I'm, even when I'm speaking. Interesting, man. I guess it could be the, the directional thing of the microphone too, right? Cause so the microphone is like right here. Uh, it's right, oh, right there. Um, and I've got it pointed like this way, right? Instead of pointed down. So I guess the, directional part just really works um would be my best guess yeah girl okay uh mushroom stems go in broth bag and then i think this broth bag might be done i don't actually have any other veggies to chop up just garlic, but that's fine. Oh, carrots. Do we want to put carrots in? I don't think he has anything orange. No, we've done a red pepper and a yellow pepper. We have to give him, we have to give him carrots because he needs orange things. Um, Warner, listen, guys. Okay, I gotta think, oh! The other reason to do carrots is uh, to give Brutus some. They have to. It's his birthday. Wait, does Brutus get a birth month? I think so, right? Um, Warner, thanks very much. Thanks very, very much. Pick, if you're still here, um, enjoy emotes after viewing. Extra love and affection. Like I'm about to give my puppy dog. subscription. Okay. Oh, 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 I like that. Okay, that that I wholeheartedly approve of. Um, hi, sweetest. Hey, hello. Hi, Fancy. This way. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Can you see him? <laughs> right there. Right there. Last one. Good boy. <laughs> Cutie. Yeah. Warner, thank you for gifting this up to Junior. That's really sweet of you. <laughs> yeah. What a total sweetie dog. My goodness. Okay. I'm going to cut these on the angle. And get them in ASAP. Because they are hard so they take longer to cook and then i'll do the mushrooms yeah um most new yeah jelly or glammy <laughs> Hey, did you know that Glammy and Jelly are two different people? Just FYI. Just FYI. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, good. 
up with you today. Um, Glam, how are you? How's your pupper? You are. You are. I I mean it. Gunt and I are gonna be like <laughs> we're gonna be moaning your names. Um, and you know, at least at least I'll have more practice than Gunt. I don't know. That's weird. I made it weird. Okay. I just want these to be, again, less, like, chokeable amounts. Although, I see people feeding their dogs, like, large chunks of carrot all the time. And the dogs are fine. Like, I'm sure he would just chew it. It just... Did you guys know that I had anxiety? Would anybody ever have guessed that? Oh, hey, stupid head. Woo! Um, once we get veggies in the pot, I think it might be time to uh, murder off-brand tuna. To open up off-brand tuna and uh, feed the animals. You know? Um, chilling next to their bone. Yay! Yay! I love that. Uh, we are doing meal- we're actually kind of like at the tail end of meal prep. These onions have been caramelizing for three hours and 20 minutes and boy howdy do they look scrumptious. But I think I'm going to leave them longer, even after stream. I don't know, because, like, <sighs> shit, I don't know. I don't know. Can you, can you over-caramelize onions? Especially if you leave it so low. Like, that's on the lowest setting that my hog will go to without basically turning off. Um, guys, thank you for the, thank you for the fucking second high train of the day. Thank you. Gosh darn. I feel like I sound so insincere. And I don't know how to correct that. Um But yeah, fuck me. Especially when I'm not sitting here doing like city skylines. I don't know, I'm just it's cool. It's very cool, gang. Okay, mushrooms are chopped. Let's put them in the thing. Um. Oh yeah, glam. Yeah. Cool little rectangle gang. I sort of understand that reference. Kind of a little bit. It's a music thing, right? There's a band that's called Is it Coolio? And the and the something oh no, I'm gonna embarrass myself. Okay. Oh, the onions. Oh, they're so good. Okay, I'm just gonna do the garlic. Ooh, better than splash. Um, celebrate good times. Come on, na 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 na. So EXO, I used to uh, teach dance, and um. You know, at a dance studio, usually there's like one recital a year, so the parents can come and watch their kids do their thing. And uh, I think it was, I think I was assistant teaching. It doesn't matter, but I think it was before I was actually teaching. I think it was when I was assistant teaching. Um, the song that we did, oh yeah, that's right, because it was for the studio's either fifth or tenth year anniversary. And the theme was about like celebrating the anniversary. And so the song that our girl, our kids did um, for their like June performance, the June recital was um, that song. And so that means I got to listen to it over and over and over at home to choreograph it. And then I got to listen to it over and over and over at the studio to teach it to the kids. So great. It's a fun song. It's a super fun song. 
um, fucking annoying 400 times a week. God damn. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I'm now understanding by it's by Coolio and the gang. That, that rings a bell. It does. Okay. Uh, this is a very small amount of garlic for my taste, but the gut man is much less of a garlic hound as I am, or than I am, so I'll be fine. Did you really, Jelly? No way! Yeah, Glammy. Yeah. It's cool in the game. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Legit don't know which one to believe, but, um, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like it's, uh, yeah, the whole listening to songs over and over and over again. I think my favorite one was, I'm trying to remember what the song was. I, uh, fuck, I don't remember what the song was. I feel like the song was just... I'm going to call it the drumline song from the movie. Do you guys remember the movie? What was it called drumline? I think with that guy as the star and he was in a drumline in a band for a college or something. Uh, and they do the, that one song that they do. Anyways, fuck. Um, Coolio to Gangster Paradise. Got it. Had Lionel Richie in it. Oh, Lionel Richie. I also remember. Also remember, but um, one year for my tap kids, we did, I think it was just to the drumline song. Um, and it was mostly, if not completely, just the drum drums. I don't know if there was, oh, there must have been horns in it, maybe. That part I'm really struggling to remember. Anyways, it was for the tap dancers and uh, the costumes that we had made for them looked like drummers jackets um and we had like that stuff that you use that goes in a line anyways it made them look like a drumline jacket um and so obviously drumming and tapping goes really well together right super fun um and uh my favorite thing that i came up with was i had them split in half and half of them like laid down on their backs and put their feet up and the other half got drumsticks and like actually drummed on the people who were on the ground's tap shoes. So cool. It was so fun. Uh, it's one of my favorite like dance teaching memories or whatever. Um, yeah. Drumline. And Nick Cannon, that's the guy who's in my head. Before he fathered many kids and married... She, sorry, XO, can you please confirm or deny that you are telling me that Nick Cannon married Mariah Carey? Are you shitting me right now? Are you having me off? It's not the way that works. Hi, Nick. Hello. Um, I'm, yeah, just choosing not to answer that question. But now divorced. Okay. What a wild pairing. Isn't Nick Cannon fairly young? Isn't... Okay, wow. I mean, that sounds really pretentious, but I was just going to say, isn't he my age? But, I mean, I thought he was kind of like my age, and then I thought Mariah Carey was kind of like my parents' age. But I might have that incorrect. Anyways, cool. Yeah, fuck. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I remember really liking that film. Um, I like, I like drums. One day. I really would love to get an electric kit to learn them again. But I guess he's younger. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Okay. Uh, bing bing. Okay, we're done with the garlic. Friends, it's all working out so well. Now, Gunt told me that he is 
um, down for me to like cook the rice in the stir fry. Um, cause you can either kind of like do the veggies and then the rice separate, right? Um, but I like to put the rice in the dish with it. So it gives it more flavor. So we will be doing that. I'm just going to get some spices happening in here. And then I think we should, uh, we should probably kill off brand tuna because we have some cats who are looking for their midday meal. Um, 11 years age difference. I mean, I know, right, Nick? I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Uh, Nick, we have been, I, like, I'm, I'm obsessed. We have been, uh, caramelizing onions for that entire time as well. They're, they're in here. This thing was full, um, and they've been on low heat for literally that entire time. Um, so I've just put in some whole cumin and some whole caraway, caraway and caraway seeds um, directly onto the bottom of the pan to get a little bit of flavor. If I had remembered, I would have, I should have put tomato paste in there, but I forgot. Um, and it's too late. It's not too late. It's never too late. And, uh, yeah, we'll make a brown sauce, probably, with, like, poison and stuff. Chuck the garlic in there. I get the veggies ready. Oh. This garlic away. Oh, <laughs> jelly. We are one. Damn, this banana squash is so good. Right. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get this chopped up. Cause then I can kind of clean up as I finish Gut's uh stir fry. Hope that's alright. Um For Love 30 Rock. That's a show, right? I think whenever people say the 30 Rock show, I always picture Third Rock from the Sun in my head. Um, which I didn't particularly love. Uh, but I don't think I've seen 30 Rock. Uh, bah, bah. Green onions! Give me the spring onion. Mm -hmm. These. Okay, delightful. Um, yeah. Hi, Ignis. I am clearly dying, yes. Yes. Ow. Oh, something just went in my wound. We're soulmates. I think that you could do better, Jelly. Okay. Uh, now. Mm, mm, mm. All right, what else do I want to put in here, like, spice-wise? I feel like most of the flavor I do in a stir-fry comes from, like, the brown sauce. So I don't feel like I would be putting a lot of spice in here. So I'll put, um, salt and pepper and MSG. And that's probably it. Uh, for anybody who wasn't here when I chopped those up, I just put in a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, a habanero pepper, Broccoli. I think that's it, actually. Wow, XO. Yeah, I don't know what else to put in there. I guess just MSG. It's all pepper. Um, and then we do... <gasps> Wait! I don't want to disturb the cat! He's in the box! And he's so cute! Gang. Decisions. Decisions, decisions. Okay. 
parsley, I guess. I don't know, man. Or chopped onion. That sounds like... Oh, wait. Gun doesn't like onion. I think I grabbed this because I think I didn't know if I was going to be able to find soup mix. So I think I grabbed this at Canadian Tire. Um. Oh, never mind. Uh, the last thing would be this. It was like lemon and herbs. Pre-made mix. That's maybe something else I would put in Jelly's thing. I feel like possibly could have used a acid. Because aren't you supposed to put some sort of acid in everything? Not the fun kind of acid. So I could have just put... Oh, wait, I did put lemon in it. Carry on. Doing a great job. Great job. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, mixing up the parsley and catnip. We did, uh, we did put catnip in the boxes earlier. And, uh, that was brought up. Definitely. Alright, I'm just gonna let those vegetables vibe for a sec. While we kill. While we murder. Off-brand tuna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Off-brand tuna. Um, for anybody who wasn't here, Jelly has a cat whose name is Tuna. Um, and Jelly has been posting pictures of Tuna that are the cutest fucking things you've ever seen. And um, I grabbed this can of Tuna. Tuna! And I put googly eyes on it and a cat collar on it. And I took pictures of it as though it was a cat. Because I'm so clever, meaning I stole the idea from Gun. So, now, um, I should do this off camera because I have promised not to do meat on camera. So I'm just going to do it right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can instead look at my delicious butternut squash that I've almost eaten. See? Oh! And I'm gonna split half the can between Facetious and Fred, and then I'm gonna give Brutus the other half the can. Because, uh, from what I understand, fishiness is good for their coats. So. Hey, boys! Oh, shit. Oh, God. That is, if I can open the can, Without dying. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Here, I won't show it. I forgot that um, there's water in it. Actually, I also don't know if there's bone in it. It calls it albacore. That's like a fish. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, here we go. Oh, friend, this is where they know. They know. Okay. Go. Here you go. Okay. Gentlemen. Hi. Friend, that one. Okay, there you go. Um, and something to give it to Brutus in. He gets a plate. <laughs> hey, Brew. Oh, I'm in the way. My cats. Yeah. Rip. Tuna. Oh my god, Brew has already eaten all of it. It's all gone. I mean, I guess 
comparatively. It's a very small amount, but... Nice. And that's that. Goodbye, Tuna. It's been nice knowing you. He did. Yeah. He did. Kind of like I really want to do with this butternut squash. Which has now gotten cold, but... Okay, so, oh, that doesn't go back in the drawer. If you were to make a brown sauce, mm -hmm. pour a stir fry. Let us get the things. A uh, brown sauce, soy, poison. Uh, I'm gonna do. Fuck, what else? Sriracha, probably? Why do we have so many things of poison? Oh, this is for gun. So I could do Worcestershire sauce. I could put a little bit of maple syrup in it. What do we think? <clears throat> do we think the man deserves a little bit of maple syrup? Real maple syrup? I think maybe. I think maybe. Okay, um, let's do soy first. I could actually make this so you guys can see it, eh? Eh? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Are we going to see a can? I can. I can? A can of these nuts! Sorry. Oh, a can of maple! Oh. No. Um. The real, the good stuff comes in a can. It's true. It's true. I don't have one of those to show you, though. Um. Enjoy jazz! Okay, uh, but I will show you what we have. Um, yeah, let me go grab it. Oh yeah, oh! Actually, I don't know if I'll use this. I just, apparently we just got the PC brand, which is like, not the best. Um, yeah, it's all good. Have good, have good food. Oh no, that's like actually mold. Oh shit. That's like bad. Okay. I'm not even gonna show it to you. That's grody. I've never seen mold on maple syrup before. So, never mind. I could use, I'm gonna use table syrup. That's what I'm gonna do. Gut will like it. Um, and I just grabbed a tiny bit of rice vinegar. Um, just for like a little bit of a acid flavor. That. Okay, and I'm gonna put these back. It's true. It's actually true, Nick. Bro, can you get out of my way, please? Come on, man. Please. 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 Yeah, there we go. Um, I believe the reason maple syrup works, this is just like crap table syrup. The re I, I believe the reason you do the syrup in it is for the sugar. But you know, sugar tastes good. Um, I'm just gonna use a spoon. Probably needs a little bit more poison. Very wet. Hi, Shell. Yeah. We saucy. I don't think. I actually don't think that needs anything. I don't know how I... Oh, the soy has plenty of salt. <laughs> the soy is 
definitely salt enough. And there's going to be pig in the dish, which is also very salty. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to put fucking rice in it. Um, hi, Revage! You're done with your meal prep as well. Pasta with chorizo, bell peppers, turkey, tomato. Oh, oh, fuck. Damn, dude. I'm hungry from, like, other people's food. Um, guys, this is the rice that I made this morning. It's apparently six portions. So, I'm gonna just... <laughs> yeah! And then one of my hairs. Perfect! And then I'm gonna put the sauce on it. And then I'm gonna put the spring onions on it. And we are done. Yeah. Hell yeah, dudes. Hell yeah, dudes. Let me just get the spring onions in there, too. And then I'm gonna mix it up. And then I'm gonna tell you that you're pretty. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, rice has like very much done the stale rice thing and kind of clumped together in clumps. So I'm mostly just trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to unclump it. Unclump me. Daddy! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I just want to get it, like, mixed well, and then I'll show it to you guys, because it is kind of pretty. Even without being really cooked, it's kind of pretty. Huh. I don't have the fucking strength for this anymore, friends. I'm weak. I'm weak. You are pretty. I think you're pretty. Um, nice, Red Mage. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Look at you! Alright, I will show you guys the, uh, the doobers. The dudes. Oh. Yeah. Stir fry. Oh. That's uh, gonna be for the gut man. I feel like I owe you at least another caramelized onion viewing as well. Yeah. Yeah, Ollie, oh. Yeah, Bruce's gonna finish up. He's finishing up. See, this is how you indicate without pointing. You you do this. Open paw. <laughs> um, he's finishing up the tuna. But I'm just I have to be fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Guys. Guys. Oh, it smells. Oh, I should eat some. Yeah. And then here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Another um, especial thank you to Exo and uh, and Jelly. Jelly, I forgot about you. Sorry. Um, for giving us the recipes. That's awesome. God, I'm so excited to eat both of them. 
So I'll uh, make sure that if Gunt has them, which I think he probably will at least try them, he will write you a formal review. Pinky's out.